guys have such faith in me. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Things are a little iffy. Gosh, alright, that's not the music I wanted to start with. I've got a random shuffled Pikmin playlist going on. That sounds more kind of nice. Hello! <coughs> uh, before I begin, I should actually give a little bit of a warning. Uh, also, can I turn this music up in my ears? Um, first of all, hi! Hopefully the audio levels are okay. Let me know if anything's a bit wrong, if the music is way too loud or something like that. But um, at the moment, hopefully this stream will turn out okay. Now it's too loud in my ears. Turn down. Because for whatever reason, my computer, thank you for the host, Debbie. The, uh, my computer doesn't work, it's, it's not online right now, but I'm streaming. My OBS is working, and the YouTube as a website is working, but I can't even open Twitch right now. It, it just says that there's something wrong with my internet, and then I try and fix it, and it's like, no, there isn't. So this is going to be, uh, kind of interesting. I'm kind of loud myself. Uh, let me bring myself down a bit then. Not by too much, because I kind of want to be audible, which would be nice. Uh, let me try this again. Twitch, can I sign into you please? I can see the chat just through my OBS, but that's about it. Thank you for the host, Mew. Alright, now I do have a little bit of a, uh, a structure kind of planned for this stream. So uh, we'll go through it, but it might end up just being a normal casual chat that sort of goes off the rails a little bit. We'll have to see. But yeah, it is a bit odd, isn't it? Uh, let me try it on a new tab as well. Let's see how this goes. Nope. Site can't be reached. It's very weird. I had it earlier when I was I was downloading music this morning and it wouldn't let me go on to the, like, a YouTube converter or anything. It would let me do um everything else. I could watch the actual videos, but yeah, I don't know. Ooh. That music you just heard before was the soundtrack of the Beanie Long Legs. Now we've got something completely different. Oh, hey, fish! Fishy, even. Definitely need to talk to you about stuff soon, because I only literally saw your uh, tweet about it last night. I'm not very good at Twitter, but oh well, I'll get around to it. Thank you for the follow, pink sheep. One, two, three, four, five. Right, it's been two minutes. I think from the sounds of things, everything's kind of functioning, apart from half of my computer, but that's a problem for later. Also, actually, I know that my computer is needs dusting, and last night, at least, it randomly turned itself off. So, hopefully that doesn't happen during the stream, otherwise, if I randomly disappear, you'll know why. And then I'll... I guess I'll just let it cool down for a couple minutes and then turn it back on again. We'll see how things go. Rightio, is everybody ready? Shall we get started on Pikmin predictions? I've never done anything like this before, so let's see how things uh, work out. And while I'm here, we need a question. Something audio is pretty low. Microphone audio. Fixed. I made it louder again. Someone said I was too loud, so I made it quieter. Right, we have a new topic. We're no longer doing an intro, but I want to still be able to see the chat. Let me do that. You've got a uh, theory that's videoable? Okay. Thank you for the follow, the ninja czar. We'll be starting in a moment. So I've got a piece of paper here, like I always do, with a list of different questions and topics we can talk about. Hence why there's a big topic at the p top of the page. Uh, I got another one. Oh, Spike! Spike Dementos, thank you for following. Oh, wow, it happened at the same time, I guess? And Trent? Oh, I guess I missed it. Oh, well, thank you for all of them. Oh, my God, there's more. Yeah, that's Ninja. There you go. Okay. Right, so, got a list of things to talk about. The Flemia. Which one should we go for? Uh, we'll go with the meta stuff. Let's, we'll, we'll sort of start off with the more meta Pikmin thoughts, and then we'll delve into the intricacies of the game that's coming up. Because I imagine... I think we're all here to agree Pikmin 4 is going to happen. I mean, we've been hearing that it's apparently in development. We've had, obviously, 1, 2, 3, and hey, Pikmin. I'm pretty sure there's another one coming. I think we can ag all agree with that. Hello, Snide Fozen. Don't know how you pronounce that properly, but thank you for the follow. Gosh, this is, like, the busiest I've ever been. It's great. Apparently there's 50 people watching. I'm pretty sure that's broken a record already. Oops. So, our first topic today shall be... 
when will, oops, that's not how you spell will, we pick, this might be too long and I'll shorten it, Pikmin for trailer release. I spelt release without a second E. And let's put in one exclamation question mark because I'm not crazy. And center it. That's way too big. Alrighty. That's a center. Oh, that's about somewhere. I'll bring it down. A no, I won't. It might clash over the alerts, but that's fine. It's stuck in development hell. I think they had to start over with an engine or something. That could be possible. Although uh, we're used to waiting nine months for a uh, nine years even for a game, so I'm sure we can wait a little bit longer. Even in a Nintendo Direct or E3. Okay. Miyamoto said he couldn't talk about it at E3 last year, and we long knew about Hey Pikmin by then, so it is confirmed. Mm-hmm. People are saying summer. What do you think? Do you think? Here's a question. A bit too broad. Do you def? Do you think we're even going to see it in 2018? Do you think this game was going to start like Pikmin 3 started in 2012? Do you think it's six years later? It's about time for the next one. Mid to late 2018. Interesting. We've got a long time to wait, don't we? If that's the case. People agree that it think it will be late spring tomorrow. There will be just a random Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Guessing late 2018? 2019? Alright, everyone seems to agree then. 2018. Trent again for the follow. Hello. And also Jewel Man 04. Jewel Man? Jewel Man 04. Thank you for the follow. You would say 2019 would be more likely. This is just the trailer we're talking about as well, you know. This isn't just uh, the game. But maybe you are that a little pessimistic. You think we'll have something similar to the information we have for Metroid Prime 4? Okay. The Switch has been popular enough so we won't have another Pikmin, game, Pikmin 3 scenario. That's a good point. It'll either be for Christmas or Spring 2019. Is that when the game comes out you're talking about? Uh, what song have we got next, by the way? I've just got the whole Pikmin 1 and 2 soundtrack shuffled, so hopefully it'll give us a good one. Sure, we'll go with the prologue. That makes sense. 2614? 20, that's a, a shame. Oh well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is every time we come to a conclusion is I'm going to plaster it. Hello, Janik. Thank you for the follow. Uh, every time we get a prediction and we sort of agree on something, we're going to write it down on the side of this stream. And then uh, we'll add them all together. Also, this will be the American version of the prologue because the UK version of the prologue just doesn't exist. This is the version I'm used to hearing in my MP3 player, or my iPod now, my iPhone now, even. Gosh, I've upgraded over the years. But the original one that I hear whenever I play the game, I never get to hear. But that's a trivia fact that no one needs to care about. Uh, drink, go over there. So, would everyone agree that a trailer isn't going to be appearing for the first six months of the year? We're going to have a bit of bad luck, and Pikmin 4 is still not going to be mentioned. Like, E3? Don't, nobody thinks E3, which is June, July time, I think. You were honestly expecting it in the direct, but it was something. Is but since it was a mini, that was thrown out of the whack. I was thinking that too. I like in the back of my mind was like, oh, it'd be a, a direct talking about all of the year, but no. The UK one has a trumpet missing. Ah. I didn't actually know. I just knew it sounded a bit different. And now we got also the Pikmin two opening. Perfect. This is going to include the president rambling at us in the background. It's very possible for it to be the latter half, or the latter half of the year. Say oh no, Psy0987, thank you for the follow. At the earliest you would say March. E3 at the earliest, but nothing special if then. These kind of make sense, I think. Also, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure there was like, you know what, this might be sound, make me sound really dumb, but I remember there being like a psychological study where it's like, if one person makes a prediction it's quite unlikely to be right, but if a group comes to a conclusion as a giant combined hive mind, it's more likely to be true. So there's always a chance that we'll be more accurate in making these predictions by making them a little bit as a group. Or not, maybe I'm just dumb. But from the sounds of things, people are saying the latter half of 2018. Which makes me wonder what uh, 20, the E3 is going to be about. Thank you, Roman Twitch. Thank you for the host. Hello, everybody. 
the stream rounding jumps back a few seconds. Is that happening to anyone else? I need to know because I'm a bit finicky. It sounds right. Oh, that to me. It stops at times. 2020. That's it, it's the average of the groups idea that tends to be more accurate. So if we accurize 2614 and tomorrow, that should come to about the latter half of 2018. I think that sounds about right. <laughs> you just reached sub, but it didn't show up. Oh, I'm sorry, Sison. Well, thank you for the resub anyway. Maybe it'll take a moment, I don't know. Gosh, we've hit 60 watches. Thank you very much, everybody. Don't know about the video, but the pick is good. We ain't got a video, it is just a pick at the moment. I do actually have an extra part of the stream that I might add later. I've got a... Hold on, let me see if I can get this right. Also, thank you, Games For Us. Thank you for the follow. And Ugly But Proud. Oh, what a nickname. Um, but I do also have a notification interrupting me. Oh, it's the same one? Yes, it was. Okay. Also, my mic is too far to the side that I can't see the screen. There we go. I have a window available here to open up at points if you want to look up videos, maybe a trailer to like look at again slowly or something. So, might be a thing for later in the stream, but that's the thought. So, the, twi the Switch has already used Mario and Zelda. It's probably going to use Pikmin soon, was probably what that was going to be saying. From the looks of things, we've done. we're done with this question. People are saying the latter half of 2018. E3 at the earliest, but probably like between E3 and Christmas. I'm gonna write that down. Slash uh, add it as a text, which I didn't. Do I have to do it like this? I guess I will. Okay. It's gonna look really dumb in the corner, but oh well. We've got uh, latter 2018. That's not how you spell 2018. And the ending of Pikmin 1 to go in the background. Very dramatic ending for the first question in the whole stream. There's your font. There's your colour. Uh, how big do I want this? I guess like to the side. Why not? Actually, let's give it maybe a different colour? This is something that really doesn't matter. But then what, what colour works that doesn't gross? Because that looks pretty gross to me. I have no idea, that kind of blurs away. What about that? That looks gross too. I am not a colour man. Everyone knows this by now. You know what? I might just stick to yellow. At least it keeps with the style. Everything's yellow in this stream. Make it gold, make it green. I mean, that, that suggests that I know what that looks like. Also, Daddy Free Running. Thank you for the follow. An interesting name you've got. And the gaming Mayan. Not a melon, a Mayan. Thank you. A lot coming up suddenly. Uh, is that green? That looks like that could be green. There you go. Looks very f subtle, but alright. Uh, save those changes. Yes, please. Oh. You're not in a great mood? I'm sorry, Rowan. Hope things get better. Hope you, the nice chat will, I don't know, calm you down. We've, in fact, we've even got some nice calm music going on in the background now. I'm not going to add mauve colouring to the text because I don't even actually know what mauve looks like. Add a drop shadow. I would. I can't. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. I don't see an option to. Uh, maybe like properties? No, that's the same thing. Like, OB, this is just an OBS text. Ooh! Effect filter. Hello. Apply a LUT, a chroma key, colour correction, crop pad, image mask? That's probably not it. Mm, nope, that don't look it like it to me. Okay, we can get out of here. Whoops. I'm still learning the ways around OBS. Render delay, nope. Thank you for the... Gosh, again, they always come in twos, don't they? Thank you, Shining Knight XY for the follow, and Coke A00. Just do everything in the pause menu, like one and two? Not quite sure what that's referring to, but okay. Uh, da 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 Scroll, sharpen, yeah, I don't think I can add anything to it. Uh, unless I actually... <laughs> this might be too much effort, hold on. This this will be one of those things that we'll... Uh, we'll uh, what am I doing? 
will become easier later in the stream because this is the first time I've ever done this. So we want this copied and pasted like that. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. I don't think. Well, we'll find out. Do that. You can then be pure black. It makes the whole thing black. Of course it does. It makes both of them black. I was going to like duplicate the text and make it a, sh a, sh a shadow, but oh well. The image is from the Pikmin shorts, yes. Might have just been one I screenshotted or I grabbed it off YouTube, uh, Google even. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where I got it from. Um, is there not an easier way to like... Oh, there's all these. Transform. That's just flipping it about. No. Oh, paste reference. Even better. That's what I need. So then you can be black and it won't make the whole thing black no no it will make the whole thing black great that that does nothing for okay so then what if I made the other type sorry we're, we're on a brief brief tangent that was reference this is duplicate it's gonna do the exact same thing ain't you no somehow duplicate doesn't no yeah because that makes sense I, I completely reversed which one I thought okay cool Make that bigger, there you go. Thank you, Yuren Leardag, for the follow. Now we've got a very faint little... Beautiful, okay. I'm gonna quickly do that for the others as well then. Hold on, sorry, do excuse me. I'll be back in a second. <coughs> That's the wrong text. Get out of here. That's... What have I done here then? I want the subject duplicated. That's not what I asked at all. Why is it duplicating latter now? You know what? It doesn't matter. I don't care about it. It's way too much effort on these things. Okay, so this is our decision for trailer. Um, I guess I'll make that like... Yeah, what I'll do is I'm going to number everything. So latter is going to be one. You know, it was the answer to question one. Don't worry, the, the shadow will follow in a minute. Oh, this is going to be a really long Titan Dweeble song? I think it is. Can I switch it over? Oh no, it was just the monster pump bit. Okay. So that's that done. Let's go on with another question. Now that we've got question one done. So the second thing I've gone is going along with the same sort of theme. Instead of asking when the trade is going to release, when's Pikmin 4 going to release? That's the question for now. I swear I'm good at typing, but not when I keep looking up to actually see what I'm typing. What are people's thoughts? That still doesn't work. Okay, I give up on that one now. 2019, 2019, 2027, spring 2019, quarter one 2019. 30, 30. Spring. You would say very late 2018 or early 2019. The day after tomorrow. Early 2019, I doubt this year. 2019, middle of 2019, early 2020. If they reveal latter 2018, then mid 2019. Late 2018, probably early 2019. Um, volume is too loud, but I need to be quieter. Can I also, does anyone else agree with that with the audio? <clears throat> what do I need to do with my audio changes? Is something too loud or am I just too quiet? December and spring. Hmm. 20XX. Lovely. Ah. The audio is fine. Okay, must be you then, buddy. Holiday 2018 at the earliest. Possibly spring or early summer 2019. Music could be a little higher. Alright. Uh, as long as I'm talking over it, it shouldn't be too bad because, uh. <coughs> also, the audio keeps changing with each song because of the levels, but, uh. Trying to avoid copyright a little bit. But oh well. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone seems very split. Everyone agrees, kind of, that it will be 2019. But they don't know when. I'm hearing I'm hearing spring 2019 a lot, and I'm hearing 
uh, end of 2019 a lot. Going over the average, I guess that would be halfway through 2019. Does that sound about right? Summer 2019? That sounds about right to me. Pikmin 3 came out in August. So August 2019. What do we think of that idea? You don't get copyright issues in Twitch, no, but I will likely be adding this over to YouTube later on. March, early 2019. You think Nintendo will release a HD trilogy pack so that newcomers will have more reason to buy Pikmin 4? That's an idea. It seems like a lot of effort to make three HD packs. I'm not sure. Judy Hops the Officer, thank you for the follow. I actually watched Zootropolis uh, a few, about a week and a half ago. I enjoyed it. The volume balances are great, but you have to max out everything. I'm afraid that's your issue, because I'm pretty much normal. Like, my volume is put up... My vi mic audio is plus 15. It's pretty loud. Oh, you're right. I did misspell it. Damn it. I was too busy focusing on talking that I didn't focus on the, you know, the important bit. Excuse me. Let me add that D at the end. Is that better for you, buddy? Grammar Nazi 72 watching. That's definitely a world record. For me, at least. The difference between making a Daz Let's Play stream and a Daz Review stream, huh? You'd buy the Heat HD remake? I would too. I'd probably do a, a marathon before Pikmin 4 came out. Alright, so from the sounds of things, we're coming to an agreement. Hello, the Silver Guard. Thank you for the follow, and thank you for joining the discussion. So it sounds like we're going to go with, let's say, August 2019. Does anyone, does anyone have an objection to that? Oh, and Josiah. I always get two at the same time, don't I? Pikmin is apparently is a popular talking subject. Maybe it's because it's me doing it. I don't know. I did post a... Uh, announcement on both my channels and everyone comes to me for Pikmin anyway. You'd buy anything with the word Pikmin in it? I probably would too. I've actually got um, I've got a red and yellow Pikmin plush, but I can't find the blue one. I've even had friends try and buy them for me for my birthday and Christmas and they just they, they don't exist. But oh well. It seems fine. I was thinking maybe March or February. I think if a trailer's coming out latter 2018, we're gonna wait a little longer. Like, Pikmin, hey, Pikmin was quite quick, but I don't think Pikmin 4 will be that quick. Usually it's isn't it, two years after announcement. Yeah. But announcement was a while ago, technically. When was that? Last year? That was like last year, July time. I think. You know, honestly, I feel like it's coming out early next year, since we know it's almost done, but no trailers have come out yet. Sometime between January and March. Somewhere past E3, they wouldn't mention it. 2018, if it won't come out before the next E3. Hmm. So people don't like August. They think earlier. Odyssey did take only a few months. That's a good point. Alright. Do you want to say then, like... E3 time? Spring time? Summer? Is August summer? Yes, it is. Yeah, August is the end of summer. So like early summer? Late spring? No, no than a year after its first trailer. We don't know it's nearly done, this is true. <clears throat> we only know it exists and there's been a lot of development on it. You just think not late or early 2019. Autumn. Autumn? That's after August. People are saying go earlier. Everyone, I, I'm hearing spring a lot. I'm going to write down spring. Anywhere from March to October, I agree with. Okay, yeah, the middle the middle of 2019. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. This dumb texting again. So, we've got spring 2019. You think it will come out 2019 August because they didn't even get an announcement yet. Early 2020 is good. I'll say mid. It agrees with everyone, alright? Mid 2019 is what we're going with. There we 
go. Hi you. Oops, like that, sure. I didn't even put the, the two at the beginning, but I left the space two, that was really weird. I didn't even question, I was gonna number the question as well, but oh well. We're actually a little chopped off there, aren't we? Can you not be chopped off for me, like that maybe? Sure, and then you need a duplicate that makes another ladder. Why do you make another ladder? Well, I'll just randomly type this in then. Whoops. Mid 2019. Need to be underneath. There we go. Lovely. You can't imagine Pikmin 4 being a long game. Shush! We're not on that topic yet. We're not talking about the game just yet. We're talking about the meta game. Kind of. Um, the other thing I did actually write on this like genre of when is uh, when in the timeline we think Pikmin 4 will be, but I kind of think everyone will agree it will just be chronological. 1, 2, and 3 were chronological. Hey, Pikmin seems to just be a spin-off that doesn't really matter where it is, I think, or it just is after. Pikmin 4 will probably follow after Pikmin 3. Does anyone disagree? Is there a giant objection to that concept? To that notion? What do we think? Quality drop. Anyone else seeing that? I mean, anyone a lot of... Oh no, nope, two of the objections. You agree? Nah. Hello, Silent Storm. Thank you for joining us. You're still pretty early on, so don't think you've missed anything. And I apologise that your alert gets crushed by my text. You think Pikmin is too simple to have a timeline? I agree. Now that Pikmin 3 came out, came, when Pikmin 3 came out, I was like, this, this, uh, this was a lot of overthinking on my part. It was a lot simpler than I thought. You haven't missed too much at all. You've missed two questions, and you can see the answers on the left. You can probably guess when they are, what they're, what they're talking about. Maybe they can look kind of similar. Uh, where's our topic, our subject even? Here we go. Whoops. In that case, I probably won't mention the timeline thing, because I don't, yeah, I agree. Don't think it's uh, expansive enough for that yet. What if they're making a new engine for Pikmin 4? That's why it's taking so long? Maybe. That could be the case. We don't know. Hopefully we'll hear something soon. Maybe I should add that as a, as a mini question. When are we going to hear the next thing about uh, Pikmin 4? The smallest thing. A tiny developer statement. A, a nudge. A, a tease. A hint. When do you think that will be? Do you think that won't be till at the end of the year? What are we thinking? E3. Everyone's agreeing E3 or before. Or today. That makes sense. Of course it does. Yesterday. <laughs> This is a really big question. I definitely should have refonted that, but oh well. E3 for sure. Like in one month. No one thinks before E3, huh? My god, how big is this question? Hello! Dahagonable. Thank you for the follow. Spring Direct E3, E3 or, or Treehouse. Yes, that's a, that is a thing. E3 or Direct. Do you think Pikmin will get its own Direct? Pikmin's not that popular, is it? In the spectrum of Nintendo, Pikmin isn't that popular. Do you think they'd want to do a Direct because it would be popular enough? Maybe in a Direct, but most likely E3. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. It would be nice, but I don't think there's going to be a dedicated Pikmin di Direct. Unless it's like a spout-out one, like Hey Pikmin was. A Nintendo Direct in April. <sighs> Pikmin 3? Didn't Pikmin 3 get a Direct? No! Oh, well. Yeah, it did. But that was probably after it ex existed. And they might have thought it didn't do it. 
You need to do the questions. You're right. Notifications at the front. Speaking of, we've got three more notifications. Zoe, you're really. Thank you for the raid of two people. Hello. Never actually had a, a raid before, so thanks. We've also got Design Off with the follow and Ink Placedist for the follow as well. Thank you very much. There's the alerts. I need you right at the top. You're not going to scroll, are you? Okay, I'll do it manually then. Like that. And like that. Beautiful. Look at that. Getting all the way on top. And two nerds on a couch. Thank you for the host. Five people. Hello. My god, that's a lot of ring-a-dings in my ear. Hello! It is a younger IP compared to the heavy hitters in Nintendo. I'd say they are recognising the love for it more after Pikmin 3. Ah, okay. Alright. You don't know how to host, I wonder if I did it though. You didn't, you only followed, but don't worry about it. Oh my god, why is there so much people going on? Hello! Tombonic, 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 Tombonic. Do you pronounce the B? Because tomb you don't, but bonic you would, like bionic. Anyway, think of though, and Nenomatu. <laughs> Please wait, I'm killing a spider and it's still twitching. <sighs> Sorry about that. We've got 81 viewers. Wow. Uh, this goes back to what I was saying a moment ago. In the spectrum of Nintendo. Pikmin's really small, but in the spectrum of me, Pikmin is gigantic. It's a shame that there isn't loads of Pikmin content, like there's not Mario levels of content, because it's very clear this is like, Pikmin for, or Pikmin in general is just like my livelihood. It's the thing that I'm probably the most passionate about in my life, who needs a career. And it's clearly the same with the people that watch me. And it's a shame that I, you know, only just get a chance to show up occasionally and be like, hey, because Pikmin 4 is just so underdone. But I guess it kind of makes it higher quality anyway. Uh, we're done with this question, I imagine. People have at least stopped answering it. And there was one very big, obvious answer of when will we hear something about Pikmin 4? Everyone was saying E3. So let me write that down. <coughs> <coughs> and hopefully I don't die, huh? That'd be a nice idea too. <gasps> just a thought. Don't worry, that was me faking it. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll just do an original text. So, hi you, this is question three, and we're going with E3 2018. That's your answer. We want it yellow, I want hair out of my eyes, and I preferably would like the font too. I'm not a singer. Hey, 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 I see someone getting ahead of themselves talking about the Wraith. We ain't there yet. We got a little bit more to go, buddy, but it is on my list. Right, uh, paste duplicate. Uh, that's now below the alert, so alert can go there. Nope, go there. Hey, you, you're fine. You just need to be underneath, like that. And also a completely different spelling. <laughs> Pikmin 4 needs a little level creator. I would really like that. I remember I, I posted like a whole, hey, like a, what can you do as a sequel to Mario Maker? And a lot of people were like, you can't do a Pikmin 1, it's 3D, it doesn't work. And I'm like, yes it can, make it like a 2.5D camera, like a diagonal camera and a 3D models that you place in, I don't know. People kept shooting me down for it. I was like, no, Pikmin producer, damn it. See, someone else remembered it. Ah oh, well. Right, that is our third question, easily nice and done. Hopefully people can understand that without the, hopefully I can understand that without the context, but oh well. Let's move on to our next topic. This OBS file is getting bigger and bigger with just piles and piles of text. Oh well. So, we're now done with talking about when. We're now going to be talking about story. Um, because it was the next thing I wrote on my actual list. So, uh, there are four. I've got four, four topics of story to talk about. But the big one, the wall, no, not even the big one. It's a, 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 a mini one, a, a hidden in sight one kind of one. It's this. What will we be collecting in Pikmin 4? 
Let me know what your thoughts are. In Pikmin 1, we had ship parts. Thank you, Pichu Link Gaming, for the follow. In Pikmin 2, we had treasure. In Pikmin 3, we had fruits. In Pikmin 4, we had sparklium seeds. What's going on? That is a good topic. I've been thinking. Who knows? The Plasm Wraith is still alive. These aren't things you can collect, people. Unless we're collecting pieces of a Plasm Wraith. I'm not sure about that. We're collecting fish? I'm not sure how that would work. Collecting enemies, actually, would be an idea. Like a museum character. Oh, well. You're collecting treasure again, but have the fruits from Pikmin 3 be available treasures. <laughs> we're collecting Chaos Emeralds. That would end pretty quickly, wouldn't it? Just seven treasures and you're done. Vegetables! I was thinking that. But then that would suggest that there's a, a food sorted food shortage on Hokate. Hmm. I think I think people are con uh, people are stuck on this. Food, you think, but you have no ideas. Maybe something to kill the plasm wraith? Scrap for researching where the plasm wraith or Louis is. The idea of a research thing could be cool. When you improve this okay. The samples of animal fossils. So it's more like a scientist hunt rather than a, a hero's or a greedy man's hunt. Huh. You think the story will be Hockatate Freight is in debt again and Louis is on the planet, so one of them comes back with, to find both. Kind of like Pikmin 3, there's an overlying goal, but you also have a lesser goal. Okay. Wouldn't be fruit. Hockatate should don't eat fruit. But it won't be treasure because they won't be in debt again. Parts and treasure. Still like the ability to trap creatures for some sort of fight, sun, sun, fun side activity. That's cool. Huh. Hmm. Fossils or scrap or artifacts seem perfect. I like that idea. Items like the globe. Maybe you don't actually collect, you build. You build a base on the planet. That could be interesting. I think there'll be more of a concept for a spin off. Oh, great. We've gone into creepy music slightly now. Maybe you have to collect Pikmin to eat them because Louie. Okay, okay, buddy. What if everything is an illusion caused by the Plasm Wraith? Doesn't matter, we're just collecting it anyway. <laughs> Items to make a weapon. If Hockatations eat veggies and Copiates eat fruit, is there a race that eats only meat? No, I think only, only Louie would be that kind of definition. And he's a Hockatation, I assume. Because it turns out he's not, and he's an alien. That would be interesting. My Twitch chat is way out of sync. I apologise. I am reading it as it shows up on my OBS, so it's probably going to be delayed. Unless you're saying half the things aren't appearing, in which case, that might be why might be due to half of my computer not being online. Don't ask how that works. I don't understand it either. In fact, actually, while I'm here, I'm going to try and get it back up again. Jojo, thank you for the follow. Right as we're doing mini setting up. They collect fossils and think that it was dinosaurs, not humans, that were the ones left behind who left a trace of civilization. Okay. Oh, we also got Robo Potatoes. Thank you for the follow. Why do people keep coming in in pairs of twos? I keep reading them in the wrong order, but oh well. Maybe that's my internet, only realising every two. Oh, <sighs> then yeah, it's, it isn't the most creative idea, but they're probably still in debt and need to find more treasures. Yeah. I was thinking that, like, I've been always thinking, like, what... Can el what else can you do? You've done ship parts, you've done treasure, you've done fruit. What is there to collect? Scrap is an interesting idea. I kind of, I guess it kind of goes in with treasure. So, um, oh. right. Twitch still doesn't want to be working. I kind of wanted to start up a straw poll. You can see here that was me trying to fail it. Will straw poll work? Did you say anything about orange Pikmin? Not yet. Actually, not anything. Uh, okay, so Google works. Maybe you collect memes. Oh, that makes sense. They were in debt again in Pikmin 3, so that would make sense. Whoa! Thank you, guy, for the follow. I'm not going to read your, your name. Oloma must collect the seven crystal stars to open the 1,000-year door to get the Triforce to defeat Bowser? I think something a bit more powerful than Bowser would need to be at the end of that. Okay, yeah. Things ain't working on my front. Does anyone want to make a... I can't even open it, though. Hmm. Damn it, that's gonna be a shame. Um... I guess I'll just specifically just have to do it vocally. 
So, we have three options that we think are going to be uh, collectibles. We're going to go with uh, treasure, um, scrap and artifacts, or... I don't really know what else. Or enemies. Like enemy pieces, like research for fossils and that kind of thing. Or real living things, like a, a museum thing. And hey, thanks for the 90 viewers. This is amazing. Or building something? All right, we'll add that too. These are your four options. Tell us now what you think it will be. Treasure, scrap, enemies, or stuff to build rather than collect. Or, or fish. I'm really... A Fish can go along with enemies. They'd be an enemy. They'd be a creature that they'd be analysing. So what do you think? And then, yeah, Lou, who cares about that? We've got scrap, scrap, enemies, treasure, treasure, building, scrap, treasure, scrap, which could be used to build, artifacts, stuff to build, treasure, treasure, scrap, enemies, but building would be fun. Build, scrap, I just said scratch, but I'm sure that meant scrap. Building stuff to build. I don't think any of them are likely, but treasures sound the most likely. Scrap. Building. Headless the Head Crab, thank you for the follow. Thanks for joining us on our Pikmin discussion. Our Pikmin predictions. Our predictions. That doesn't work. Collecting scrap for your ship and stuff could be a neat idea. Yeah. Treasure Louie, don't forget Louie. Louie don't matter right now. Uh, three player can to have a base and you need to collect fruit for food and treasure as an overall goal. Oh, so you're thinking like it's actually like a civilization on the Pikmin planet. That could be cool. We've got a straw poll there. I can't open it, but everyone else can. In fact, maybe I can type it real quick. Whoops. Google Plus, why are you opening? I'm not going to be able to re get that in time. H-Y-S-Z. 8K8Z. 8K8Z. Okay, that's copied. Let's see if that straw, if I can manually put that straw poll in or not. Probably not. Strawpole.com slash that jargon. Will it open the straw poll for me? <laughs> Collecting Pikmin, building treasures. Hello, helpless gamer two two one five. Thank you for the follow. And icicle one B. Thank you for the follow. It could be treasure classified as scrap. They kind of merge. Now I think about it. You know, like um, we're looking for treasure, which could be in the form of scrap. It could be used to build something or to pay off a debt. And then we got um, yeah, animals is another thing. Like People weren't, weren't big on that one. But I guess I kind of thought of it last minute. So it's not going to be like a... Not like we're making our own Picopedia expansion. But it could be a thing that happens. Please upload the uncut stream and do more of these so that I can. Alrighty. I was probably thinking of uploading this in one big go. People really want to know. But I guess they could technically skip through to see. No, they can't. They can skip through and see the answers immediately, but they might not know the questions. Haha! Pro. Pro plan. In my opinion... Oh, I've missed it. Sorry. Somebody said disease curing. That could be fun. Huh. That's an interesting concept. At night mode, where you begin to prepare for the night, where Louie and find a cave to survive and pursue Pikmin. No one put Louie in the straw poll. What are the results? Can someone tell me what, uh, what happened in the poll? Because I can't open other websites. I can only, only stream. Scrap is winning the poll? Okay. L Louis Wurriken. Lee. Oh. Lee U Wurriken. Number one. Thank you for the follow. Maybe have to collect C. S. I don't, I don't know what that is. Scrap is winning? Okay. Scrap is five. Build and treasure are four. Enemy are one. Okay. So, let's go with that. Is the scrap for building, for money, or for collecting? Just for collecting's sake. Hey Daz, what about collecting specific Nintendo products? Well, that was that was that would be coming under treasure and potentially scrap. Hmm. How long is this gonna go for? Until we finish all our questions. Um, I need to go at six, and that's you know, uh, like three and a half hours away. Might not be three and a half hours. It depends how long people want to talk for. Has Pikmin 4 been announced? It's been... We know that it's in development. We're just making a predictions about it. Since it is 2018, it's a new year. Let's ramble about stuff. Scrap for building. Okay. 
all right if that's your idea let's uh let's add it in so you know what let me make the font first then it will make me seem a bit more professional maybe where is p there's pikmin there you are nope that's pokemon there's pikmin lovely okay so question four what are we collecting it's gonna be scrap um for building scrap slash building that makes that makes enough sense on its own i think um make you yellow i if like scrap could also i guess if if it's wrong we could just say that's what we meant when we said treasure like if it turns out to be treasure we could be like that's what we meant the whole time duh imagine the size of all these texts aren't the same but that's fine right alert you need to be above again you need to be duplicated and underneath so i can make you be black and correctly named you can stay the whole stream beautiful the longer you stay the the better you get to influence how this uh concept's gonna turn out scrap slash building Ooh, that's a that's a big one did i make it bigger accidentally yes i did oops there we go possibly the scrap could be used to upgrade stuff yeah a branching story with louis wielding firearms i'm gonna say no on that one it could be your own prediction and i mean technically it's been documented now that we're recording this stream so you know I guess if you're right, you'll get to know, and we'll all get to see it back in the future. Where did you get the Pikmin font? I googled it, and I think it was a Deviant Art thing, but you can download it there. Just look up Pikmin Pikmin font, and it's like the first thing that shows up. I literally got it just before. No, I didn't. I attempted to get it just before this stream, and then discovered I already bought it like ages ago. Not bought it, downloaded it. Seen other people suggest this back during the years when Pikmin 3 was in the dark. Sounds great, but it seems to stray away from the Pikmin formula. This. Oh, well, that you're talking about something else, probably not scrap. Mm -mm. Right, that's just the one section of story we were talking about, but it was a good topic. It, it actually confused people for a while. Next up, question five. You did not type question five at all. What are you doing? Get out of here. There we go. Question five. Um, then it, well, all right. Well, I'm not sure how big this will explode into an actual concept. Also, thank you, Ink Plays. For the hosts. Um, question five. What of the Mimozo? What's going on with him? What's happening? What are we going to do? What's happening? Is he part of the story? Is he going to progress? What's going on? Because he appears in some form in every game. So close to 100 viewers. Well, hey, we got a celebratory music in the background. Let's see if it happens. Oh, thank you for the bits, Dr. Truter. That's super helpful. I completely forgot bits were a thing. That that five pence will go far. I'll buy myself some uh oh, I can't even buy Freddos anymore. I'll buy myself a fifth of a Freddo for you. Or if four more people give me five bits, then I'll buy myself a Freddo. I believe in I'll I'll send a Twitter picture and everything. Proof of me eating a Freddo. The tiny chocolate frogs. It's the final boss. You think it's a silly theory. Confirmed as the Umbozo? Boss music as you say in Vozu. He'll be there somehow for sure. Does the Plasm Wraith count as it? Yes it does. Anything Wraithy. I prefer if it weren't the final boss, maybe an optional boss. Scan the official Umibozo of Mebo to find the secret boss. Thank you, Bantha Fodder, for the follow. Uh Umibozo will control Luigi and Hell uh, Luigi. Louis and Hell will be the final boss. He'll be the final boss. Oh, thank you again for the for the bit. And Freebird? Like the game company? Question, I'm not quite sure what that what that was. Excuse me. The movie the um, Umibozo is fake and only a theory, a game theory. Thanks for joining. This is true. People, you you're welcome to de deny the Umibozo idea. It is just a theory. You have to rewatch your video about it. I don't think it's aged the best. The second half was my own little rambling, so I don't really think are true anymore. But oh well. Scrap should be what we collect. Hocketations have gone through a resource crisis. Okay, that was from the last topic, but I'll I'll acknowledge it anyway. Umibozo will reach his final form. You think it will be just an optional boss? 
Oh, and more robotic-like enemies. Ooh, that's an idea, Dr. Truta. Truta? Am I pronouncing that right? Trutter, maybe? Uh, we have actually got a topic about enemies that's way, way later, but I'll acknowledge it anyway. More robotic. The Uber Puzzle will be an underlying theme throughout the game. Okay. The Uber Puzzle can make planets that we must explore and distort. Maybe. Two nerds on the couch. Thank you for the five bits. Uh, where's your... You're my fave... I can't... I couldn't read it. Damn it. You're my fave Pikmin person, I think that said. Thank you. I muchly appreciate it. Ubi Puzzle will not be the final boss. I have no idea how, but all I can think of is how it will not be the final boss. I need to check my whispers. I can't open Twitch right now, I'm afraid. Whatever you collect turns out to be the Ubi Puzzle, then you fight him or something. I don't know. Roman enemies would go along with the, stra the scrap theme very well. That's a good, that's a good point. Hmm. Maybe an area where there are a ton of smoky prog eggs. Ugh. Okay, so it sounds like optional boss or final boss. Or, yeah, yeah. if it's optional, then it basically means it would be non-existent. What do we think? Is it the crux of the story or is it just there? Because it was pretty clearly the Umi Bozo, like the Japanese version of the Plasm Wraith was just the Umi Bozo, so it might have been too obvious. Take your picks, final boss or optional. It'll be present to some extent, but it probably won't be the final boss. Final boss. Optional boss. Final boss. Main part of the story. Maybe we can find where the Mamuta come from. Maybe the present race evolves into the Yubi Bozu during the fight. Oh, okay. Final boss. Optional. Final boss. Optional. Final boss. Final boss. Final boss. Optional. Final boss. Optional. <laughs> it's so 50-50. Every boss is a form of the Yubi Bozu. A roaming boss. A final boss. A planet. Umi Bozo is the entire planet. You find all these shaped features in the landscape. It awakens when you travel on the map hitting it. Louis, Louis is the final boss. I have an idea. The Umi Bozo is coming close to full power. Hmm. Let's get a poll. If someone else can set it up and tell me what happens, then that's cool by me. Uh, just so you know, uh, does it? This should actually be talk show? I don't know. Oh my god. And Twitch ain't gonna open, is it? Uh, actually, yeah, I've got a... Well, he might not be available. Hold on. Because I don't... I don't know how to put these things. I'll put it on talk show then. Except Twitch ain't gonna open. And our, our moderator guy ain't here. And I can't moderate anyone else because I can't open Twitch. Arrgh! I will do that when I get the chance. Hopefully uh, our moderator Matt will appear at some point today and he can uh, manually switch it to talk show. Otherwise, if someone comes here and is like, Hey, you're breaking rules, I'm gonna delete you. Try to we'll try to explain it to them. You know, try and be like, I can't open Twitch right now. It's something's wrong. I can even send them a video if they need to. Oh well. Change it by cell phone. You are a genius. I forget that's a thing I can do. You have an idea? The Omi Bozo is coming close to full power. Been regenerating the past three games, and you fight him at almost full strength. Okay. Idea it is. Uh, Twitch. There you are. This is gonna be weird. Like yeah, being on, opening myself on the phone. But yes, that's a good point. I'm gonna do it on my phone. Good point. Thank you. S did someone make a poll? I didn't get to see it. If it did, uh, phone. What are you doing? Can I? What? Is, what is it? Error. My phone has met an error. Am I offline on my phone as well? What's going on? No, I'm online. Are there any questions about how the game will play? Uh, like style or something of its own? You won't it be an open world with the spaceship being broken? That's an idea. But I'm not sure if I actually wrote it on the list. We'll, we'll see a little bit. No poll? Okay. You are Matt? In that case, can you switch over and help me? <laughs> or not. I don't know if you're real. Okay, I can't open anything. Why? What is my phone doing? Hooray, you're up to date. Except it says error. Can I browse? I can browse. Okay, so I'm somewhat online. Social. Switch to your friends. My whispers. No whispers available. Am I not logged in? It won't let me. I don't know what's going on here. Pulse. I have no idea what that even is. Alright, so my phone ain't working either. I can get it on my laptop. Way over there. Hold on. 
technical difficulties, I tell ye. I ain't the best. Uh, you can't change the Steam stream title. You don't need to. Only the where we are. All we need to worry about is uh, ba -ba -ba, that we're on talk show and not IRL. Apparently, you require your face. I don't know these rules. I'm still new, mostly, kind of. <sighs> right. So, I don't actually know what our conclusion was. I guess I'll just put boss then. That's all catwalks. Let's try that again, shall we? So, let me document that down. Laptop, you can stay actually. No, you can't stay on my lap because I need my keyboards. You think the final boss will be a huge colossus that you have to climb on top of? I like the idea. Global overheat? Weather changes? I guess this was another question. What do I think his appearance will be on? Yeah, I haven't actually asked my own, I haven't answered my own thing. Um, I think he'll be final boss. I don't think he's going to be optional. In all honesty, I don't know. I, th I every game focuses on him quite a bit, a little in in, in their own ways. So I, I feel like um, I don't know. I feel like it'll be a final boss, or it'll be like, or it'll be like he it is a, a biotic thing between a bionic. What am I saying? A symbiotic relationship between him and Louis, or that you save Louis halfway through the game. This is a whole another story thing, but the idea that we're chasing Louis the whole game is kind of our solidifying point. Um, but like we're saving Louis, we save Louis, and then it goes into Umiwas is the enemy we need to defeat at the end for whatever reason. Uh, so, answer is final boss or boss? Just boss? I'll take boss. Final? That works. Da, 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 da. What if I do this? No, it just goes straight over to ladder. Okay. Never mind. Da 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 I can't place that smoothly. That will have to do. Uh, where are you? There you are. Da da da. There we go. Uh, I like it the other way, actually. No, I don't. Excuse me. Okay. Which is my favourite Pikmin game? Pikmin 2. I like Pikmin 2 way better. Just my personal preference. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing. Who knows? Radio. Um. Oh, I was doing something with my laptop. I thought I was doing right. Well, in that case, what we'll do is uh, uh, where's topic? It gets more and more hidden away. It's gonna be question mark. Uh, uh fi fixing a. I can't even spell it. Why did I put we? I put er is what I meant. Gosh. There we go. Just so I can actually feel like I'm okay. We need Twitch, thank you very much. Me specifically is even better. What form would it be in? That's a good point. I imagine it just gets stronger and stronger into bigger, crazier things. Hello, 88 viewers, I see it now myself. Ah, uh, I don't want to share it. I want to edit it. Talk. Talk show. Sure. But also while I'm here. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. I see the thing now. Uh, and hey, actually, I've got a functional Twitch thing. We're, we're above 90 again. Thank you. Uh -uh. Thank you, big bad boar, for the follow. Thanks for joining us. Do we have a fan base name? We don't, I don't think. We've got the Dazzlings, I think, was one thing, and that was a, or was it like Dazzle Juniors, which was a, um, 
a shoe brand I heard about. That's about it. Um, I'm gonna leave you down here. Uh, still function, but if I need to twi ugh, fix anything on Twitch, it'll be there. It's out of the way, but that's fine. Right. I think we fixed my error now. The error we had was um, a Twitch thing. We should be good now. So, question six. Let me get my piece of paper. So we're done with Yumi Bozu. We know what's going on there. Uh, I don't really know how to... Oh well, it's what I put. Um, it's going to be very short if that then. But oh well. What of the loose ends? We've got a couple of loose ends, if I remember right. So, from Big Man, so... Also, uh... Oh yeah, we had the underdogs, which was a thing. You gonna go? See you later, Badger. We're talking about loose ends now. In Pikmin 3, a handful of things happened. We know that Harkatate Freight is in debt again. Oliver's taken off the planet. Louis is left behind. And the end of Hey Pikmin... Something happened in the end of Hey Pikmin? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think we just got away and there was just a little a little oomy thing at the end. A little gooey guy. Is anything else going on and are they going to be followed f through? Do we think Louis is going to be a special part of Pikmin 4 because he got left behind? Louis will appear. The falling thing was Louis. That was another thing. Yeah, we saw him fall. Louis Bowser will appear. Hey, Pikmin revealed Olimar has a new ship. Aha, uh -huh, that was true. Don't worry about Hey, Pikmin. That is also an idea. Uh, the ship on the end is Louis and becomes corrupted by the Yumi Bozu. Hey, Pikmin is not canon. I keep all right. That's fair. Louis will be central in the story. Onma has his fighting move set from Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and we you. He was there too. We're just gonna be going with Yumi Bozu being a thing now. That seems to be our idea. Seems to be our prediction. Hey, Pikmin is implied to be a dream. Okay. Oh, is it? I can't remember if that's true, but oh well. The falling object is an escape pod of some space, space, space station. Louis will make an appearance. It could be Cammy. It could, okay. I'm confused. Why were the ships in two and Hey, Pikmin named the same thing? Hmm. Why are they? Don't worry about that. The story could be anything, but Louis will be the main protagonist. Okay. I mean, that kind of goes into our next one that's going to be about characters anyway. We'll, we'll end it there and just say uh, that we got an answer out of that somewhere. That Alright, Louis will be integral to the plot. Because I think that's the loose end. We I think that's the only loose end we really got to worry about is what's Louis doing? It'll be integral to the plot is what will he will be doing. Uh, Pikmin. Yellow. This will be a uh, plot focus. Let's put that. Oops. Plot focus thank you oh hello hosted radio thank you for the host thanks for joining this pikmin discussion pikmin discord i guess you could say although discord i guess is kind of taken in the way of uh, idea uh what am i saying here definition i guess doesn't matter duplicate but under layer plot points let's write it again plot focus yeah okay louis eats the plasm wraith okay plasm pikmin i haven't actually considered that before i think maybe when louis falls back to the earth his helmet falls off and he grows massive because in pikmin 3 Brittany says that if it took off their helmets they would grow really big instead of dying huh okay god pikmin all right yeah yeah whatever um, the only other thing I put was every Pikmin game has multiple endings. Kind of. Okay, maybe not Pikmin 2, but multiple endings seem to be a thing. What could be the possible multiple endings for Pikmin 4? It's kind of a mini thing. Like, I guess it would just be the neutral ending, the good ending, and the bad ending. What would happen? Like, uh, what could you do? What are the stakes that we got to worry about? Are there stakes? I mean, I know no one's a meat eater, but are there stakes? You save Louis or he dies. You tweeted the differences in music? Alright, I'll have a look at that in a bit. Don't worry about being late, that's fine. Louis dies, he lives, or he escapes. 
So, are we still- are we going by the idea that we play as Louis? Because I've always thought that it's we play as a captain chasing Louis. You save Louis or don't. One would see Onomar or Louis get captured by the Yumi Bozus. Wait, I've been watching for an hour now. Didn't realise. Yeah, it's been a while. Playing as Louis would be cool. What about the SS Dolphin? Did it It got destroyed in Pitbull 3? Thank you for the stream. No problem. Maybe there'll be an ending based on a time trial. Bye bye, Louis. See you in heaven. Everything collected. Necessary stuff collected. Not enough collected. Umi Bozu defeated for good. You're right. I do need to change the question. The whole game is about Louis. If Umi Bozu throws a cat, throws Cappy at Louis and captures him, Louis is either an object, objective, or the main character. Yes, that that's kind of a, a big one that we should probably decide on. I guess, or not. Um, what will be the multiple endings? Louis, so I guess it'll be Louis survives. Oh, we've, got, we've got two two fronts. It's either Louis survives, Louis doesn't, and uh, oh, I guess it's two fronts of like the bad ending is Louis doesn't survive. Louis gets left behind again. Louis is saved. Ooh, that's a nice, huh. Oh my gosh, hello! Thank you, Spike Dementos, for the sub! Didn't know we had a whole bunch of years in the background, but thank you! I very greatly appreciate it. Good ending is you get Louis, but Louis is somewhat different. Neutrals, you get Louis, and something bad happens, I guess. Louis dies, the Pikmin revives, so it becomes a Louis Min. A Lumin. To Lumin. Louis dies, Louis survives, and Louis gets rescued. Think four endings. Louis dead, objective failed. Louis alive, objective fails. Louis dead, objective succeeds. Louis alive, objective succeeds. Louis is the main goal. Huh. Shows up. Louis shows up in the final cutscene, riding a cutscene while chasing a Metroid. The whole game is just a trailer for Metroid 4. Makes sense. Hmm. In the start of the game, he gets infected. In the good ending, he will lose his evil. I forgot that sound was for subscribing. Yeah. Sorry. You gotta go. See you later then. Hope you enjoyed so far. Or enjoyed what we got to so far. Yeah, this is suggesting that Louis is the only objective that matters. Um, Cause it's also a matter of we are collecting things. He's the, he's the main objective at the end. And I imagine you probably can't fail it. Unless you're playing as Louis and he fails himself. Whoa, hello Lone Tech Wolf. Thanks for 500 bits. I could buy myself some chips with that. Some chicken balls, thank you. I guess you really like your, your Pikmin analyses, don't you? Thanks a lot. I greatly appreciate it. Two sets of good and bad endings. Louis being evil and Louis being controlled as influenced. Huh. Louis dies. See, I don't think they're going to do a Louis dies ending, if I'm honest. I don't know. I think it's a matter of Louis will always be saved at the end if you're playing as Olimar. You will die only if you do it wrong. You collect diary pages, that's an idea. If we collect treasure, then collecting getting Louis without completing debt would be a bad ending. Hmm. Louis is a cat now. He eats the Umabozo and battles with Godzilla to gain the Triforce. Makes sense. Louis has a heart attack from all the food. Louis survives, but not enough but not enough is connected. Nobody survives. So Louis survives and enough is collected at hundred percent of the game. Depends on whether the collectible is themed around survival. If the Wraith is optional, so is Louis. One ending would leave you behind everything and leave early. Louis is dead, Louis is alive, so is Umi. Louis is alive, Umi is dead. Louis goes through a portal and places Alpha Zolomon's sm skin in Smash. Mm. They did do an Onoma dead ending. It's a matter of who you play as. If you play as Onoma saving Louis, then Louis can't die. If you're playing as Louis saving Louis, like he's just trying to survive, he'll die. I don't think they'll make us play as Louis. He's so much of his own character running around. I think we'll be playing as Olimar, getting Louis. So he won't die. He will be the end product. Like in Pikmin 2, he gets left behind, but he will always be alive by the end. He might, you might see story elements of him or like snippets of what his adventure is, but I don't think we'll be playing as him. So I think 
The vulnerable ending will be, you save him always, but it's a matter of if you get everything on the way. I think. You don't think he's important enough to be the main objective. I think he's like the end objective. Like Pikmin 2's end objective was save Louis. And then collecting the treasure was the side thing, you know? Kind of. Um, maybe surviving as Louis is the challenge mode. That could be cool. You could play as him in the very beginning with Captain Charlie. The asteroid crashes both into the planet and the captains. There is no Pikmin 4. Uh, uh. We need a conclusion. We need an answer. We need answers. Well, let me set up for the answers font. This is tricky. I think this is a tricky question. Louis will be like the Cosmic Tree Drive Cube. A main objective, but not THE main objective. The whole game is you playing as Louis in the photorealistic background in two credits. <laughs> Maybe you play the same day twice, as the Captain and then as Louis. The bad ending could be Louis escape again and you stuck on the planet again. So he's the first objective, and then there's one ending because they are enough, close enough home to get food, according to Pikmin 2. Oh my gosh, hello. The bad ending shows the SS Dolphin flying towards Hockatate with a scrap board, but Louis with a green head from being sick, then bad. Maybe if you play as Louis, you use scraps to build a new ship to escape, and that's all I have. One singular Pikmin is kidnapped, Nonoma has to choose to kill all his other Pikmin or save the one. The one that the one day and save Princess Eclair. Uh, there is a real sickness theme I'm hearing about, but I'm not sure if that might be too much. Still think that if the human buzz has been getting more powerful, then it could possess the whole planet. It ends with the planet being going boom. Uh, multiple endings. I'll say... Louis always survives. It's just a matter of do you. But then, why? What are the stakes? Hmm. The planet wasn't real. Pick me one and two as a drug tip. Because we is fan fiction. I can imagine an opening scene where Oliver thinks Louis is still on the ship, but when he gets back to Hakate, he realizes Louis is missing and has to explain it to the president. The Umi Mother makes a fake of Louis and goes on your ship, then kills you in the bad ending. Christ. That's a horrifying thought. Because he does make illusions, so there might be a Louis illusion. An illusion. Um, Louis survives. The question is in what state? Is he permanently messed up or fine? Yeah. Top 10 questions without answers. Stakes could be your job if you're a researcher. Yeah. So, I think no one will die except possibly Louis. Pippin can have some dark theories sometimes. They sure can. I don't know what to put for this answer. So shall we just say survival slash collection is the multiple endings. Survival will change with the endings and your collection odds. Collection equals survival, maybe? Since we answered building for pick question four, maybe if you can't build enough defenses and the enemy destroys them, you lose? That's an idea. Louis is personalityless the entire time. If you play as Alama, then Louis, the two timers, can go off sync. It could be different modes than Sonic Adventure DX. Thank you, Bag Buddy, for the follow. We're currently in a in a situation trying to work out what the multiple endings of Pikmin 4 could possibly be. Pikmin mi Migration is their ending series. Hmm. Um. Alright, so on the assumption we play as Louis, it would be survival would be what changes. If it's not survival, um, it would be the other one, not collecting enough, like failure. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit vague, but that's really all there is to go on at the moment, you know? It's such easy with Pikmin 3, it's like, how do you fail Pikmin 3? Oh, you don't eat enough foods and the, 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 the planet dies. But this is a bit different. North Korea nuke Olimar and Louis. That makes sense. I can understand that. Maybe not the end of Pikmin, but the end of the Olimar storyline. Perhaps a cooking thing. Hmm. 
The world that Pikmin was just a dream and the end of the series. No, just no. Seven. Survival slash failure. And then people really want to understand what's going on. Let me look at this and speed through it like a YouTube video. Maybe. Ah, oh, that's way too big. Da -da -da -da. Stand by either Louis as the main character or a side objective that can be skipped. I still think Louis is going to be saved halfway through the game. Like, you go in being like, we need to get this and also find Louis. You find Louis and then it like goes up a notch. Also, I'm missing a pen. Is it in my ear? No. Where? Where is it? Because I can see the lid. And I, I, I... Oh no. The lid was attached to the pen. The pen was just under my phone. Excuse me, I'm done. Right. We're gonna move to another subject. It's time. Uh, question eight. What do we got? We have, oh, that's loose ends done. Uh, thank you for the 245 bits, Lone Tech Wolf. You've given me a lot of bits, thanks. Uh, what do you say? Do you say anything or are you just, no, you're just saying the bits. Thank you very much. Buy food today, great. Um, the main thing of this is who? Who are we? Who are the characters that will appear? What are the species that we're playing? Who? Let's let's make it specific. Um, who do we play as? Sure. Because here's the thing. What more can the Kapiats do? They've done their job. Maybe like they'd stick around because they know the Olima situation. They know Olima's story. And even then, like Nintendo was against four players before. You have to go? Well, I'll see you later, Lord. Un Unkemile? Excuse me. Person from the team from Pikmin 3. Olimar, obviously. Louis Olimar may be the president and someone new. Louis isn't the main playable character, but you can play as him occasionally during short intermissions. I like that idea, and I hope that happens. Olimar and the president? I don't think we'll be playing as Olimar or Louis. Dream Team, Olimar, President, Alf, Britty, Charlie. Five people, gosh. A new set of characters. Only Olimar. Maybe the President. Olimar, the President, and maybe one or two of the Kapiats. Character D! God, I haven't had that in a while. At least three captains, though. Olimar or a Scrapper Captain. Character D. Olimar and Kapiats with Team Select. Olimar, Louis, possibly the Kapiats researching new food. Kapiats die out while the, while the three are on PNF. Uh, we can choose from the Copiates and the Hockitations, but you can play as their families and or a mix and match them. I wish, I really wish you could just choose everyone. I'd want to play as the President's wife every time, but... I don't know, the game's too simple for that, you see? Talking from a developer point of view, they're going to want to have more than one character, though. They want to have those open levels that, you know, you throw car captains onto. So there'd probably be a pack of them, at least three, maybe four if they can make it work. Going off of the name of the game, there may be four playable characters. This is also true. I think they tried it in the past, though, and it didn't work. We need Olimar back. I can't really think of anything else. Character D is a relative of Louis who can play. Who goes with Olimar, possibly. Uh, play from the Pikmin standpoint. The captain doesn't matter. The main six characters that can be changed out in a team of three. I don't think they'll switch them out. I think that's too complicated. Unless they come with each specific things like special skills, but I'm not sure if they're gonna work that out. What if Alf and Charlie are said to save Louis and Olima are also said without their consent? Uh, smart doofus, thank you for following. Everyone's saying character select. Maybe each captain that you play as has different abilities and you can mix and match them. It sounds cool, but it might be too complicated for what they're doing. Character D is a scrapper. I like the idea of a scrapper character, but then it kind of takes away from the, why would the scrapper character be looking for a Louis? You think it'll be three characters again? Okay. I don't think the president's coming back. I think the president was a one-time thing. I don't think he'd want to be back here. Onma could also have an apprentice, and he could be old, like a time skip thing. Team building would be cool if they had specific parts, but that might be overcomplicating the game and take away from the Pikmin Squad building, yeah. Nobody thinks they'll introduce narrow characters? Character D, I guess, would technically be a new character. SS Dolphin 2 becomes a captain. Having multiple ca ca characters opens up the gameplay a lot, but it's a little too overwhelming. Yeah. So which is more popular? Having one, two, three captains? Scraps as a robot captain. Uh, character D bumps into Louie and decides to save him. What if a special breed of Pikmin was a, cap a captain with a whistle? 
I like the idea of Cat D being a relative of Louis. Scrapper as a relative of Louis. 15 playable characters. <laughs> Maybe like in Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3, you go to Earth with all your captains but all split up. Hmm. Maybe like Pikmin 2 and 3. Oh, that's the same one. Excuse me. Two is enough. I think they'll go for three at least. I don't think they'll go back to two. You will play as Character D for the first bit, then you see Louis. Character D reports this to his home planet, and then you've been hog potato or Kopai, which is heard by Olimar. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a new character, or a small team of new characters. Alright, here's, a, here's a, a backup question for it. Have we seen the end of the Kopiats? Or do you think we'll only see one of them? I feel like they'll stick as a three and not be used again. I feel it might be Olimar and new characters again. But I'm not sure. Bob. Bob will be here. Olimar, a new worker, forced to be here in character D as a robot or another worker. A robot built from scrap. You go to Earth, find Louis. Hmm. Let them stay. Kapiats are done unless a new character is from the planet. Yeah. It will appear as a reference or something cool like that. Okay. Alright, so no more Kopiats at the very least. Olima and new people sounds like the suggestion. Maybe a scrapper type character? Maybe that scrapped character? Although that might that's character D might be Louis. So it's a bit weird that they didn't add Olima into it, but what do I know in that picture? D being a robot would be sick if Dolphin and Drake II was loaded into it. That's quite a quite a way, but I mean it's an idea. They definitely won't go back to one captain, and the Copiates are a little too generic. Okay. Shall we say then Olimar and new people? Those new people maybe being a scrapper or character D or something else. Copiates are done. Copiates will return in side modes like Olimar and Louie in mission and bigger mode. That could work. I like that idea. Alright. I think I'll settle with that. You think Alpha would be most likely to come back because the others hated Louis? Yeah. Uh, that's not what I want. I want a new text. There's a lot of text. Burp. 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 We want Pikmin Online? I don't think we're going to get it. Um, well, it's the Switch. Again, that's a future topic, so we'll see. We're having a good old rant about this, aren't we? Okay, so, 8 is Onoma plus new. That's our answer. That's who we're playing as. We've decided not, we've decided against the Louis. He's more an objective than a character now. Or at least that's what I'm gathering. I think Louis can be playable on a harder mode. That would be cool. But I don't really have the faith that Nintendo's going to make a harder mode, you know? There's a lot of ideas they could do, but I think they want to keep it super simple. Which is a bit of a shame, but I can understand it, you know? Pikmin 3 was a bit underwhelming, considering all the hype we were putting into it. If, I can, if I'm allowed to admit that. Anyone agree? Huh. Only one new playable character or more? I don't know. Hector Hard Mode from FE. I don't know that, but okay. Master Gone, thank you for the follow. You've joined us with a whole bunch of questions. Look at this list of stuff we've worked out on the side. Um, I'm gonna just test something. Uh, is this still uh Oh look, by the way, you can see I can't I can't function on Twitch. Just wanted to see the spacing on things. Okay. Right. I commented in some of your videos, but a summary is that the Kapiats on Kapiats are invite Olimar to Pikmin PNF 4 or to, to visit the Pikmin who have saved their lives three times. For Olimar, once for the other to uh, search Bluey and sometimes cause his ship to crash. And blah, for some reason, because it's a part of the survival thing, try to find food and breathe a little air for something. Okay, so you still think it's going to be all Kapiats and Olimar? Yeah, I'm not sure. Is anyone attached to the Kapiats? I'm not sure if people are. Not at least in the same way as Olimar and Louis. I'd be curious. <laughs> right. Um, what I'm going to do now 
We haven't got another... What's my another question? Species and characters are kind of the same thing. We're going to move on to the next topic. <coughs> but... I'm hearing a lot of no's. I'm not quite sure what that was for, but oh well. Beatrice. Thank you for the follow. I don't know why I said that so cruelly. Um, I'm going to go have a loo break, basically. A quick break. We'll be back in a sec for the next question. Don't be too bored, and hopefully the music won't... Wait, what's... What, what have we got up next? What are these things? Anything I need to be worried about? No, they should be good. All right. We'll be back in a couple seconds. Casually almost fell over everything in my room. A little scary, but it's okay. Hello, hello. Hope we're doing okay. Uh, what's good on down here? Naturally, we lost a chunk of viewers, but that's fine by me. It's more about the people that talk. But it's nice to be followed anyway. Um, let's bring you down there. I mean, sure, I'll keep that. No, let's have that there. Right, time for our next question. Where is the subject? There it is. So, we're done with talking about characters. We're moving on. Next thing I've got, let's see. What are your new ideas? Mechanic ideas. What do you think we could add to the Pikmin franchise as an idea? Uh, like the subdivisions I've got is this is like different obstacle types, different mobility ideas. What do you think? Also, Lone Tech Wolf, you gave me another 510 bits. Thanks a lot. And Gnobi, <coughs> Gnoboy, even thank you for the follow. I'm dying. <coughs> <coughs> a 500 Pikmin limit instead of 100? Not sure about that. More random bombs from this guy. Base building. If Louie. Oh, cooking if Louie. Okay. The humans come home after their 100 year hiatus and they are walking around. Avoid their feet. Naked bold mint to possess bosses in end of area se sequences. Hmm. So you think the bold mint are going to be a thing that we can take over? Vehicles? Sandstorms in the desert biome? Oh, I would love a big desert area. Since Nintendo's been free form and open for games lately, how about getting onions in a non specific order? Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Huh. Like, it's kind of not so much open world, but like, you could do anything. It's an explorative game. You're looking for Louis and treasure. You don't have to go in an order. Huh. 
But then, but then, I don't know. Flick Joy Cons the throne like an Odyssey. Oh dear, no. Different onion orders would be exciting. It would be. Non-linear onions would be dodgy though. Yeah, there'd be no way to structure hazard and block off areas. There'd be areas that like you wouldn't be able to go to in certain places. But I'm thinking more like enemies. They could be a bit more trick. Well, yeah, like there'd be areas where like you have to. Oh, I don't know. That take a lot of level design. Um, you pick your landing site with all available at once. I, I've seen this before, but it's very much like you can kind of just sort of spoil yourself. That The way Breath of the Wild works is you can go straight to the end. You can't with Pikmin. You need everything to get to the end. You know? You need the different types to fight the different types. And that's going to be your major downfall with that. I like the idea. I'm not sure how practical it is. Weather. Oh, I'm, I love this idea. Like, weather forecast that determines what happens, like, in winter and forecast is sunny, frozen lake could melt, rain in a level could rise water. I would love that idea. God, I would. I don't know if it will happen, though. Head to a desert biome with lizard enemies. The sandstorm blow Pikmin around, making it harder to manage them until you come across tan Pikmin that are big and can withstand the storm. Oh, there you go, sand Pikmin. Got a lizard boss. Hope there'd be almost a teleport system like wormholes from Don't Starve that can make travel from one side of the world to the other easiest, but it'd be discovered by a special pigment that's good at searching with a wimp of fighting. Mm. Weather is most the most likely addition. Yeah, lightning makes yellow pigment super powered. New types of pigment with unique things that can only be solved with certain types of pigment, like always. Also, I just thought of a new pigment type, metal pigment. Is that too out of the way? You got rock Pikmin. And I get no, I guess it's too unnatural, but it would hit it would start with a the robot theme, I guess. But then I guess that would go along with the electricity thing. Or ice. Have we seen ice at all? We've seen ice slides. Alien space alien Pikmin. I have an idea about how there are too many Pikmin for one area. Some Pikmin types are area specific. Okay. You start the day as though Kaiho is gathering food, then you play as Onima at night and go with very important story objective. Clues to yellows, yeah. The, the metal ones, and I think about it. Problem wise, getting onions. Metal pigment would be like rock pigment, though. Yeah, that's a good point. That, that was more leading into a question I was going to ask later beyond colours of pigment, but oh well. Um, so, the biggest thing we seem to like is weather. We like the idea of whether it can give us new obstacle adaptations and potentially mobility stuff. Um, so in going with that, you've got like, yeah, rain could like, it changed, some things change the terrain, maybe some will supercharge pa uh, Pikmin types, um, might enforce mobility or unforce that kind of mobility, that all could work out. New mechanic, dark caves. You can't see anywhere your squad is not, but aqua glowing Pikmin could help appear in caves and are left there afterwards like Baldwin. Pile of metal shavings. Alternatively, the ship is the onion. You can see Pikmin floating around like Louie and the duck in Pikmin 3. Honestly, we're getting red, blue, yellow, and two more new Pikmin, like in 1, 2, and 3. Or 1 and 3. 2 and 3. Yeah, the, we the weather should affect the gameplay. You land, establish a base, have a large, interluptible world, and instead of the day just ending, you have down time to get to the base or trough through the night. D God, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Magnet Pikmin, Mushroom Glow Pikmin, Camo Green Pikmin. Weather would be cool or hot, haha. -ha, but I would like weather that doesn't affect gameplay that much, unless it's story related. Ooh, what about like a natural disaster, like a flood? Is a story element that happens in one of the areas, and like it, like the flood uh, puts you on a detour and takes you to like the next Pikmin type. Like that's what takes you to the blue Pikmin, but it's a it's a scripted event. Huh. Bring back Puffman. How about instead of grabbing Pikmin in any order, you have to choose between certain Pikmin types that open up different paths. You can catch up on the other types later, but until then, you only get whatever. I didn't get to see it fully in time. Herm de herm. Okay. Do we like the idea of weather? Play for the game normally as Olimar, then at night you play as Louie. You have to make weapons to kill enemies and eat them. Geesh. 
my god, Lone Tech Wolf. You've got a lot of you got a lot of, you got a lot of bits to give me, don't you? Thank you for another 245. I can't see your mess oh uh, an end of day star system where you spend scrap to to upgrade the captain's skills such as suit speed. Ooh That's interesting. So the scrap is like an upgrade system that makes you better at collecting more scrap? Game is semi open with optional sites, but all need to be explored to get all Pikmin. Then all Pikmin are required to pass through the final area. Captain skills. Okay. More suit upgrades. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that does sound pretty awesome, doesn't it? Let's write these. Um. Weather effect would be temperature melting, hot, normal, cold, and freezing, and for weather, sunny, cloud, rain, snow, maybe thunderstorms. Okay, so we've got uh, weather upgrades. Ooh. Anything else? We've got like captain skill trees, but it might be a bit complicated. A factory area or a house. A magnet suit to walk on walls and such. That's just, but then throwing Pikmin would be a bit iffy. Like all the Pikmin couldn't follow you, unless you have magnet Pikmin. Hmm. That's just the Travelers in Survival Kit, though. Hmm. Louis at night. Main issue with new mechanics is balancing. How will they fit it into the existing game balance? Yeah. Make it ever so slightly more RPG-ish with sparkling being used to upgrade things and Pikmin get upgrades somehow. Hmm, what if you want to give you a choice to combine Pikmin? Yeah, it's an idea, but oof. Only flying Pikmin could follow you onto walls. Yeah. Sure to put that as the answer. We've got weather and upgrades, and I guess that's it. Uh, what is there for mechanics? Mobility, yeah, that's kind of magnets. A magnet thing. You know what? Let's write that then. Weather, upgrade, magnets. Let's see how. First of all, does that even fit? Ugh. Um, well, it doesn't matter if it's over. If it's too big, I can make it go underneath. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, well, sure. Okay. Duplicate, bring you under. Thank you, credits, now that you're done. Whoa, that's not how you spell weather. Upgrades, magnets. Gosh, that's way too big. That'll have to do. It's a, uh, I don't like that. There we go, that works. Whew. Okay, so what if there are a temporary power from one Pikmin type that another type could use? Like 30 seconds of water survival for all the other Pikmin that aren't blue. Hmm. If it's... Uh, that could be a bit tricksy to deal with. Because like, you could spam it, maybe. Daz, do you know that you can add strokes to the next... You can add strokes to text? I did not know this. I'm very new to everything. I have no idea how. Oh, I can scroll down on this thing. I can add a gradient, a background color, alignment. Mm, that doesn't help that much. Outline. Is that what I want? Oh, yes, I guess that was what I wanted. But not that color. Ah, Somnus, thank you for following. What, uh, what is this? Huzzah, hello. That might be more for what I'm after. You know what? That makes sense. Look at that. I didn't know I could scroll. And get rid of that. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay. So, uh, what am I even looking for now? We want that. We don't want that. We want that, but we 
Don't want that. Oh my god, this could, might take a while, but I'm gonna get through this. So, outline. Don't be white, that looks horrible. <sighs> Perfect. Right, give me a moment while I fix all these. Get this goofy music in the background, why not? Oh, Mega Septile 17, thank you for following. I'll be with you in just a moment. Micromanaging here first. Oops, not that. I wonder how much more. Uh, what am I saying here? Smooth it looks? Not sure if that's the word I'm looking for. Also, alerts are getting buried again. Well, it doesn't matter. Not from this point. This music, I feel, is kind of fitting for just the. the we're just slowly burning through all these texts again. Not the most riveting, but it's, it's got to be done. It's a bit goofy. Bit of a goofy tangent. Oops, but no, that is what I want. And that's us done. Okay. Everything that's uh, not visible can now be deleted. I can save my space. Oh, no, there's more. No, that's not to be removed. Okay. Lovely. Right, we're back again. Um, that was something actually I was going to ask about. I guess I can write it down. Yeah, it goes into a mechanic as well. And was just mentioned in the chat, I believe. So, where's where's my subject? There you are. Question ten: Will caves return? This is the big one, kind of. Obviously, Pikmin two brought them in. Pikmin three took them away. But the bonus levels of Pikmin 3 brought them back in a little form, and Pikmin, hey Pikmin, really focused in on them. They're a different format, they might not be in the same format as Pikmin 2 with the endless time, might be more like how they are in mission mode of Pikmin 3, but do you think we're going to go underground again? <clears throat> you doubt that K's return, because, but hopefully they will. Yes. Yes, but not as archaic as Pikmin 2. Maybe. The collectibles are fossils or art artifacts, then possibly. Caves is a must for me, it's the best part of Pikmin 2. Nope, only if they are like Pikmin 3. Yes, I hope so. I don't think so. You want more Louis. Hmm. I'm assuming that's a, 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 a straw poll about it all. Maybe Caves will return in the Pikmin producer thing? Well, that's not even close to confirmed, I'm afraid. Depends on if it will be for story, minigames, alternative mode, or side missions. They were in Hey Pikmin, yeah. You honestly think they will? Probably not. They might go underground, but that won't stop time. I've got the opinion that that's the case too. I think we're going to go into those sort of underground caves, but we're not going to lose time and they're not going to be as expansive. They'll be just like little, almost just mini dead ends. I'm reminded of one particular level in a, in a challenge mode. Where it, was like, it was like a square, you could go around the whole map. Like, it was like an ant farm kind of thing. And then the centre was on the surface. You want Caves to return? I've never actually played Pikmin 2 yet, but I was watching your Pikmin 2 videos and they look so, like, so much fun, like how it shows what Pikmin I need. Needs to look. How many players do you think there will be? We've already talked about that, I'm afraid. I think we said just three-ish, three or four. We didn't actually decide, but oh well. We should talk about controls later. Yes, we should. It'll be coming up, don't worry. 
Only if it will be part of the area, not a whole multiple floor trial. You think it will be more like Pikmin 1? A whole area underground. Oh, okay, yeah. Like the forest navel, that was it. Whites, if upgraded high enough, can find caves. Considering it's Nintendo, unless there's a specific mechanic or it adds level to the gameplay, the caves may not return. But they were able to make it work for the mission mode. It's the thing. It might be like they hadn't tried that level design until afterwards. It was a DLC thing, you know? How many topics are there? There's a lot. Um, I'm sort of half... Like, some of them are coming out of not my notes, if that makes sense. But, like, we're on line four of my questions. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lines, but some of them is one. What some of my lines are one word. These four lines have been a lot of words. Not like ten questions, so we're probably we're probably like halfway done. Yeah, we should be because we're more than halfway over the stream. Please upload this so I can go to sleep before three a.m. and watch this when I wake up. Don't worry, I will. It will be uploaded on YouTube real soon. Caves could have risks to them, like you can get info from caves before you enter it, and you can upgrade how much info you can get before entering, like types of enemies, hearts, scrap building, or bosses. I think it depends on how many areas there will be in the game. Okay. It sounds like there's a lot of yeses or maybes. I'm gonna go with yes. I'm gonna put that as an answer. Does anyone really hate me putting that as an answer? I think they will, but I think they'll be different. I think they want to bring back that style, because that's kind of the Pikmin style a little bit. But they'll change how it works a little bit. Just a little. That's my idea. <coughs> Gosh, there's a lot of tapping to get a single text item to go up. Caves can be an easy way to get loot. They can add new mechanics to the caves. They can. I think that's what we're going to go with. So, let's see. Anything else to say? I think a lot of reasons people are saying yes is because they answer what they would prefer to hear. True. I think it would work anyway. I think you can justify that there will be caves, but they won't be the Pikmin 2 caves. It's a yes and no answer. It won't be THE caves. The caves won't return, but caves will be reformatted. At least that's what I'm gathering. Now, we're done with mechanics. Let's talk the big thing. One of the, one of many big things, but the next big thing. It's gonna come up eventually. <coughs> and this goes into something I actually wanted to mention a little while ago. Um, let me also put the outline on this now that I know how to do it. There we go. Here's the thing. We've talked about colours of Pikmin in the past. We've said, you know, green and orange make sense to be next. We quite like the idea of a cyan mushroom Pikmin. Even those purple or dark purple bluey puffin Pikmin can come back. But the last two Pikmin we got were winged Pikmin and rock Pikmin. They aren't just by colour. What would work? We've got Magnet Pikmin, that could work, like a grey Pikmin, a silver Pikmin. Um, gold might be a little too close to yellow. What can you think of for Pikmin that aren't colours anymore? That are structurally different, like Venus Flytrap Pikmin. New Pikmin games, new Pikmin colours. But we did get new colours last time. We got, I guess, grey from rocks and pink from winged. You should be asking what colours haven't been used? Well, we've already asked that before. Orange and spiky that stick to objects and cannot be shaken. Vine Pikmin, cactus sticks, or spikes even. Metallic reflects light for light puzzles. The most logical thing is to look for what Pikmin abilities we have, then see what we're missing. Clawed Pikmin. I think this time would be where we went to search for both food and money. Mole Pikmin. For every game, there have been two new Pikmin. This is true. Instead of new Magnet Pikmin, it could be a sense to give magnetic properties to Yellow Pikmin. Spring Pikmin, they can jump very high. Indigo Ice Pikmin, maybe they can walk on the surface of water. Oh, it's the Water Wraith. He's running away. Leaf Pikmin, they're flat. Enemies notice them less. Orange Pikmin, Claw Pikmin, they attack with their claws. Mm. Fluffy Pikmin. I've never considered that before. Like fur, like fur, furry Pikmin. Hmm. 
Glow cap Pikmin light up when you're in a cave. Pikmin that start gliding when thrown into a draft. That'd probably be wing Pikmin. Block Pikmin, they can stick together to solve block puzzles. Camo Pikmin, they can hide really well in sight. Psychic Pikmin? Spike Pikmin, extra damage. A magnet could be a suit power up. This is true. Ice Pikmin. Drill Pikmin. At sunset, they turn to sprouts. Metallic would be shiny rock. You could find like a plant that makes rock shiny for light puzzles to become reflective. Glide Pikmin can glide further depending on level. Hmm. Because <clears throat> what I'm thinking about, like, Glide Pikmin could be done with Wing Pikmin. Reflective Pikmin could probably be done with Rock Pikmin. Metallic Pikmin, we don't like the idea of. Magnetic Pikmin sound more like an upgrade for uh, an upgrade for the captains. <coughs> and then Ice Pikmin. Sounds like any Pikmin could probably do that. Like a Rock Pikmin could probably take care of ice. You know? Um, and Glow Cap Pikmin seem very specific. Plus, like, the colouring would be a bit issue. It'd be blue and different blue. A white blue, but we've got white and blue. Shell Pikmin is definitely an idea, though. Instead of being thrown like a Pikmin, thrown like Koopa Shell. Hits with massive damage, bounces off, and has high defence and is immune to explosions. Exploding Pikmin? Oof. Absorbing Pikmin? Treasure Pikmin. They would drop treasure the more enemies they defeat, and all the treasure would become valuable over time. All the different colours. Laser Pikmin, Drill Pikmin, Rocket Pikmin, Spike Pikmin, Q Pikmin, Frenzy Pikmin, Nova Pikmin. Glass Pikmin hurts the enemy a lot, but insta-kill to almost any hazard. Snail Pikmin. Would Winged and Rock return though? That's also a good question. H hey Pikmin brought them back, kept them around. In a way that they didn't with Whites and Purples. They only made them a, 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 you know, an Easter egg basically. Robomin? Chibi Robomin. <laughs> I don't know. It's tricky, isn't it? Attract Pikmin that enemy targets. I want whites and purples to return. I don't think Rock Pikmin will come. I don't think Rock Pikmin won't come back. Huh. Why don't we go full chaos mode and go Goku Pikmin? Only one required, of course. Remember the invisible Pikmin glitch in Pikmin 3? Maybe that could be a new Pikmin. One that's invisible. A lot of these seem a little impractical. Bulb Pikmin. They can light up dark caves and maybe... Uh, that makes more sense than Cyan. Slime Pikmin. You can throw them at a wall and they will stick to it. Ooh, that's interesting. Or a vine to climb up that wall. Only certain walls though. I think one of Rock and Wing Pikmin will return, but not both. Whichever one doesn't return will have its Pikmin 2 equivalent to return. Ninja Pikmin, Bulb Mins, Metal Gear Pikmin. Fully evolved Pikmin? Hmm. It's tricky, isn't it? Like, the idea of ice, I'm less susceptible to now. I don't think ice is going to be an element. It seems too rocky. Parasite Pikmin, we've seen them, but how can you use them otherwise? Flash Pikmin, Shroom Pik- Shroommin. Sticky men seem like pretty cool. They kind of do. I think a lot of the ideas sound cool, but most of them wouldn't add much to the game besides the single idea people are suggesting. Most of the Pikmin have different advantages and disadvantages instead of just one. Big Pikmin, as big as Bulb Orb. Hmm. Before we continue, do you think whites and purples will return? That's another thing. <clears throat> I don't think they will. I think they'll be the same treatment as Pikmin 3, because they're a bit over the top. Yeah, if they add ice as an element, either red or blues would be resilient to them. <coughs> what what else can you add to a Pikmin? Because you've got so you still got like clawed, claws and like digging, but then Pikmin, a uh, yellow Pikmin, have their ears for digging now. What else can you do with an element? Bullmin, they bounce. What would be the benefit of that though? Olimin, there are many Olimins that can act as another player for a certain amount of time. Tails. Ah, oh, we haven't seen Tails. That is, a, yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> They're pl plain Pikmin, but adapt over time and walk by glowing caps to get glow essence to glow for a short period, but are weaker overall. 
Tail, foot, and hand Pikmin. Hmm. Two heads. Ugh. Instead of a new type, we could go for an Overlord Mim? I don't understand what all that is. I'll be honest. Starmin? Hmm. Um. Technically, we haven't got a Mouth Pikmin yet, but I don't think it'll be relevant. We've only got Gill Pikmin. Oh, a Pikmin can jump. They just choose not to. Uh. <coughs> Clock Pikmin can freeze time? I'm not sure about that. No new Pikmin, but all Pikmin return. Two flowers would be more likely than two heads. Yeah, two heads could work, maybe. Thornmin has a rose with a flower and a spiky stem. We stuck to walls and scale walls. All the Pikmin can kind of climb. Every year Pikmin types, they try to take your Pikmin away and use them against you. I like the sort of Pikmin that can steal enemy abilities. Pikmin, a Pikmin carrot with legs, hands, a face, and a nose. Also immune to fire. <laughs> I see what you did there. But why not metal Pikmin? They could be silver colour, they could stick to metal walls, be reflected, and be resilient to acid. Or you could take out the reflected part and make them heavier and do minor damage. Small Pikmin that can run fast and avoid enemies when carrying items back, but has 0.5 regular carrying strength. Eatable Pikmin so Louie can finally eat. Dragon Min. Hmm. Mirror Pikmin, Glass Pikmin. All the Pikmin return, but two of the Pikmin will be extra mode exclusive, and the other five will be in the main game alongside a new Pikmin or two. Fungi Pikmin that can travel through the earth. Funky Pikmin, they too OP. Silver is quite similar to grey, it is. What colours don't we have? Well, here's the thing, right? Okay, how about this? We definitely need a green and orange. They're the two that are missing, kind of, if you don't count Bolfin. What element can you add to that that would be physical, like rocky or wingy? I guess vine and cactus? Or well, what's orange? I don't really know. Cannibal hit Pikmin, these will not help. DLC Min. Well, you reached question 11. Should be quite self-explanatory. Maybe you can work out what we were asked, talking about. Maybe not. We'll see. Golden Pikmin. A golden Pikmin carrot that has a body, hands, legs, ear, ears, and is immune to electricity. Huh. Demi Soup, thank you for following us. You only half a soup? I'm sorry. Thanks for joining with the uh, discussion. Immune to explosions. What would you have to do to be... Oh, yeah, okay. So then, as again, orange are shelled and green are either clawed or tailed or viney or thorny or cactusy. Shadow Pikmin. Anti-Pikmin. Yeah. And we're also hearing acid as an element. Be very grotesque, but it's kind of watery, you know? A little bit. It might, might be a bit too much for the game. Vine is cool, acid I don't think so, yeah. Orange Pikmin, able to traverse through sand while others struggle. Mm. So like, yeah, that was it, we said, we said it earlier. Sand Pikmin. Not quite sure how they'd work out though. What else do plants do? What else can plants look like? Well, rocks don't look like plants either, to be fair. So never mind, maybe that doesn't work. Green could be more natury. Wing Pikmin are based on bees. How about centipedes? <coughs> Center Pikmin? Centipede Pikmin? Huh. Poison. Well, green, that's that's white. Fruit Pikmin maybe? Orange could be the orange and green could be an apple. Yeah, how would Shadow Pikmin work? I was thinking Shadow Pikmin is like the Umibozu one. Umibozu has their own thing. I'd love to have like an actual fight against Louie with his own army. That'd be pretty cool. Quicksand Pikmin. Rocks just sink. All other types are slow as hell. Uh, sand Min can walk across just fine. Subspecies of Pikmin, but instead of plant animal, how about plant insect, like wings or something? <laughs> Um, this is tricky. What should we put? Let me at least uh, bring up the answer text. That's not at all what I asked. 
and it won't put it back. What did, what did I even? What do you even think I pressed? All right, we'll go back down there. Sound Pikmin. Ugh. Be nice if a Pikmin hide really well and is fast, but could do almost no bandit mission and die almost in by one here. Pikmin just miniature, but faster. Feathermin, a Pikmin that is really light and can run on water for a bit. It also floats a bit when you throw it. That's a bit of a combination of blue and winged. That's the issue there. Pikmin which can smell for hidden items in bushes or shrubs. Uh, Alta Shark, thank you for the follow. And also Yoshi King, 2001. And Storyline's Shadow. Good lord, three at once, somehow. Thank you everybody for showing on up, doing your thing. I very greatly appreciate it. Plasmin, Plasmin, which are corrupted Louis, who we wield in the final boss fight. Yeah, I, I like that idea, kind of. Whether it's real or not, who knows. Uh, so, question 11. What are our new Pikmin ideas? You still have Cactus Pikmin. I need to fix Nightbot? I do. I'll deal with it later. Um, so we've got Spikes. Um... What do you do with that? So let's go. What are we going with? Uh, Mr. Nam, thank you for the follow as well. I think ones that grow and shrink could be a bit distracting in a group. Cactus are a little too close to red pigment. Yeah. Magnet, vine, glow, shadow, parasite. Magnet's too upgradey. Vine could maybe work. Glowing, I think, is a bit too specific. I like the idea of shadow. And parasite. Mm. So let's say, let's say, uh, spy, uh, well, spikes. Slash. Uh, what else have we got? What was the other one? Shelled sand. So that was an idea. Yeah. So shell slash sand slash. Shadow. This sounds like a really weird fanfic thing we've made here, but it's just, I guess, keeping our options open. Um, I think that was it. That'll do. That. That's a lot of S's, I've just realised. We made a lot of S, Pikmin. And then they're going to be like orange or green or silver or bronze, I don't know. We haven't got a brown Pikmin yet, I guess. Parent Pikmin, I think, might overcomplicate the, the formula that Nintendo's got going, but who knows. Right, that'll do. Gosh, look at that! Look at that font difference. I'm not. A, I'm not a designer, all right. Excuse me. So let's uh, let's uh, let's say that's enough. Oh yeah, and Feathermin. It's all. Uh, we said them all. Even we haven't wrote, written them all down. At least we we can sort of see it. Look back and see if any of the comments we ever make in this whole thing are even close to correct. For all we know, there is someone in the chat that's got everything perfectly right. We just won't know until months, if not years, in the future. Right. That was it for colour and design and element. So now, how's about this? How will the game work with the Switch? Here's our next big question, because it will most likely be on the Switch. We don't have a Wii Remote to play with. There's multiple ways to talk about this. How is the co-op going to work? How will the motion controls work? Will there be motion controls? What are... What's going on? You can't use the map thing. Yeah, that's very true. It's one screen now. It's gone backwards a little bit. You know? What are people's thoughts? Left stick is control. Right for camera. The Joy-Cons act as a Wii remote. The red Joy-Con has a motion sensor. It does. Or the right one, even. Even though I imagine that was supposed to say right when it said red. The Joy-Con will be used for motion controls, shaking to make them do a specific action. Two control modes, motion controls or controller mode. Portable mode is the same, but it has new features. Kind of like what we're playing, like playing on the gamepad in Platinum 3. The old GameCube style of aiming. Shake the Joy-Cons to pluck faster. Uh, by aiming at the center of the screen, you can sync it there. Okay. Uh, 
The map could be still be used, just in another screen. A Venus flytrap Pikmin. Uh, you're a little behind, but yes. Joy-Cons can act like we remote. Both of them can? Actually, I guess you only need one. That's a good point. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Controls might be the same. Is there anything new that could be added to the idea? Like the split, like all the split screen and compatible with eight, seven other ones? Red Pikmin 05, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Red is the default red, but it's also red left ones too, but I get what they meant. Oh, okay. It was a left? I didn't know. I've got the plain coloured ones, if that's... whatever. Ignore me. Default right. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Detached toy cons are used for aiming. Okay. HD rumble? Perhaps two player story. Where's Pikmin? There it is. Sorry, I'm already setting up the uh, answer font. Excuse me if you can. HD rumble for stuff moving in the ground beneath you and plucking? Oh yeah, I forgot about the HD rumble mechanic. We have swarming and lock on charge as an option. Mini map in the corner. Louis. In all honesty, has to be able to play with either with motion controls or completely without because pro controllers. Or some mix of motion controls and no motion if you play with both choice cuts. Two player story would be amazing. Okay. Um, that I think that kind of covers it for that. Um, what else can the Switch do that's different? I can't remember. Um, we could do that, we could do this, we could do that. Maybe you could turn off motion controls and it'll be like GameCube. Yeah, that's what I'm imagining. Kind of like, it uh, probably is a, a hybrid control idea, like you could do one or the other. Um, anything new it can add to the table? What is it? Uh, what about like, yeah, like th how much it can split screen, like how you can have two players playing with a single Nintendo Switch. Think that's usable anywhere? Probably not now I think about it, there's not enough buttons. Or uh, maybe you can take it places other than your house, you get a special item. Compatibility with the Nintendo Switch movie app to see all your Pikmin collectibles and days. Or mobile app? Mobile app. I see. Touch screen? That's a thing. Hmm. Oh, you have to use the HD rumble to determine where a boss would strike. Shake control to switch Pikmin. Ugh. Uh, oh, that's not a thing. Excuse me. Let's go like, what about the whole taking pictures aspect? But I don't think that's a Nintendo Switch thing. That's just anything. Be done with controls. Compatible with Nintendo Labo, where you throw cardboard Pikmin at the screen. <laughs> Could you actually add a Nintendo Labo thing for Pikmin 4? I'm trying to think what you could make that would work. Probably not. Unless they want you to manually do a whistle. Press up, uh, press plus to bring up the map, and press A to go to where you want it on the map. Touchscreen doesn't do anything in any games that I know of. I know it's, I think it's completely useless. GameCube controller adapter is compatible. Um, is there anything new that the Switch can do that nothing else can, that the Wii U can't do? That's my question for you. I don't think there's much we can say. A robot that accompanies the player showing options but begging to get the game is a new character with a cracked visor. You can't see but then AI turns on static in its face and then boosts it up and the AI shows your options and controls and features. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's too much. I am going to be talking about potentially the maps in the world later. I didn't actually write it down, but I can write it as a little thing. Uh. Speaking of, hey look, there's, that, there's the music for one. Nice timing. Anyway. Local play for side mode multiplayer. The co-pad wouldn't work since one screen only. That's true. Some hybrid or something like Pokemon Go for mobile mixed with Switch mechanics. Like you could collect treasure or something on the mobile game. It could be brought over to the console. It's effectively a mobile console. File select. Oh, you're right. This isn't world map. Excuse me. I even see it on my screen that it's saying it's file select. I just didn't look. Excuse me. Think it's just gonna work like Pikmin 3D control wise. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let's say they're nothing major. I'm trying to keep these uh, also kind of vague questions so that when if someone skips through, they'll be like, "What on earth are you talking about?" And then they'll be 
tempted to find the details to find out what the question was, at least at the top. I'll have to do that. So with that done, can't need a drink, but I'll do it after this next question, I think. My throat's dry and I've been drinking a lot today. That's why I needed a break halfway through. So, with that done, it kind of goes in kind of nicely. Not necessarily a Switch exclusive, but... What about Amiibo? What are we doing? Switch is compatible with Amiibo. They like them. What can you do with them? What can the new Amiibos do? What are they going to add? We've had a whole video about it in the past on YouTube, but uh, tell me your thoughts. What can we do with Amiibo in Pikmin 4? Treasure. Simple as that. Do a Hey Pikmin route kind of thing. That you collect Amiibos. More Pikmin. Amiibo will unlock things in challenge mode. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Like a Splatoon approach. Mini games, treasure probably. Same as Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 has Amiibo opportunities. <coughs> uh, compatibility for cosmetics Perhaps new challenges with challenge mode Free money I guess adding Amiibo back from Hey Pikmin would be kind of messy Yeah Maybe increase the max Pikmin amount Amiibo will sprout new seeds because that's From the current onions That works Oh Pikmin Okay Looks like But that locks some treasure behind a paywall That's poor design That's a good point but then that's what they did with Pay Pikmin. But I guess they were optional things. It was just a little bonus thing. Maybe some power-ups, like a spicy spray. Pikmin Amiibo unlocks rock and wing Pikmin-based challenges if they aren't in the main game. Ooh, that's an idea. Chibi Mobo comparative gives you Pikmin a Chibi Robo costume. Aww. Pick a character swap. Ooh. You buy Amiibos in the real world so that you can tap them into the game. You get a message that says, thanks for your money. <laughs> Beautiful. Item special items unlock special things in challenge mode. What's the question you missed? It's at the top. It's a, uh, how about, what do Amiibo do? That's why I put, what about Amiibo? It's at the top, always, always. When are we getting a Bulb Orb Amiibo? That'd be interesting, I'd love to see that. Special Amiibos that can give you currency for your, you need for upgrades. Huh, different captain skins. You better be writing some of this down, yeah, right? I'm gonna totally post this and then everyone's gonna be like, this is disappointing that it's not the real thing. Then they'll be like, oh, Pikmin speculation ruined Pikmin. Like pick like film theories ruined Star Wars and yada yada. But no. I like that. Enemy amiibos would be cool. Umibo bo umi umibo bzu. Uh, umibo zu. Gosh, that's hard to say. Everything locked behind amiibo. Unlock all skins and cosmetics for kept pick for the captains. Unlock fancy suits for the captains. <laughs> Nintendo, why didn't we listen? Huh. Huh. I think that's that's our answer done, I think. So, we think two things. It's uh, challenge mode slash... I've already forgotten what the other thing was. Um, shoot, what was it? Oh, the one was like putting Pikmin into the onion. That's something I really enjoyed. What was it? Amiibo can't add anything really required or game breaking. The first enemy Amiibo they released is the Ubi Buzzer. will literally throw this bowl out the window. Amiibo could add mini games, spawn in pellets, save you from Pikmin extinction by placing the Amiibo down to give you extra Pikmin as you are about to game over. There's a lot of options. And Mother Amiibo tell you what is Mother 3. New skins? Uh, that didn't stick with me too much. Special Amiibo is like a sandcastle Amiibo with Pikmin on it. In a game sand series, rising from the ground, you enter it. Pikmin types. Pikmin types, I think might have been it. Collect the Amiibo as treasure. Unlocks the Miyamoto as a captain. Maybe do Pikmin shorts. That would be really nice. Maybe something that's cool and helpful but can still get on without out. Um, so yeah, I guess it would be challenge mode like specifics. Unlock alternative characters or alternate characters. Uh, that one is copyrighted. Get out of here. Let's not have that one ring in our ears. There we go, that'll do. Let's go, I found that. All the hidden memos. You have to go now, see you later. See you Saturday. See you later, Penguin Nude. Hope you've enjoyed so far. You'll see the end later. I think that'll do it. Just challenge mode.
Yeah, I don't think you can add much more. You'd like costumes? I'd like it too. It'd be cool. But I don't think they'll do it. I'll be honest. So we'll just put that. Challenge mode. Keeping it real, real vague so that no one knows what's going on. There we go. Look at that. Look at all those difference in sizes. It's really, really not the most uh, professional, but oh well. I'm not going for that feel today. It's just a pretty casual stream. Moving on to the next topic. It's topic number 14. Keep an eye up at the top if you want to see the next. Number 11 is a different colour. Oh my god, you're right. It's green. I'll have a look at that in a minute. So, ooh, we're, we're pretty much to the end. Here's one big question. It's just a long one. So, let's see if I can write this out. Okay. Clo uh, closest to Pikmin. One, two, three, four, hey. Pikmin. Here's a prediction, a full on prediction rather than like your ideas. What's Pikmin 4 going to be closest to? What's it going to be like? Is it going to be basically another Pikmin 1? With it being very short, very sweet, wrapping it up. Pikmin 2, very explorative, time isn't an issue. Is it going to be very level based? What do you think it'll be like? It will probably be closest to 3? In that case then, you think it will be very formulaic. It'll be like step by step, you need to go here, now you need to go here, now you need to go here, now you need to go here. Designed like a best of with the best features from each game. It would be great. Close to Pikmin 4 level design. Now that's probably quite accurate. I hope 2, but it will probably be like 3. I'd like to be 3, but I'm hopeful for mechanics like 2. You prefer Pikmin 2, but I'm guessing 3. This, I think, wraps it up pretty quickly. Yeah, I agree. I think Nintendo's done a bit of a reimagining of the Pikmin series, and they're going to stick with it. As much as I prefer Pikmin 2, I think we're going to get another Pikmin 3. They might add extra bits that we'll really like. Maybe they'll be influenced by these videos, but probably not, because they don't speak the language. But, you know, it could be something. It might be better. It might be a better Pikmin 3. I hope so. I hope they found satisfaction in what they had, but also want to go beyond what they've already done. If that makes any sense, and I'm not rambling to myself. Um, but I think that was pretty quick. You think it's going to be like, hey, yeah, I'm sure you do. I just put it there in just case. None of them or all of them. Okay. It'll be like none of nothing we've ever seen, huh? Look how look how vague this answer is. Just Pikmin 3. Everyone's going to be like, what on earth is that about? What, how, what kind of answer is Pikmin 3? What kind of question would ask that? <clears throat> and even better, for the people that are scrolling through quickly, let's just very suddenly hide this whole question for a moment. Move on to 15. And everyone will be like, what's going on? Uh, before I do though, I want to find, where is it? Question 11. It's not numbered here, is it? Is it this one? Nope. I want to go one back. Text. To, oh gosh. That, is that it? That's it. Okay. Yes, I did pick a different colour for it. There we go. That's that colouring sorted out. Right. Um. Man, we kind of are running. This is basically the end of our thing. We've got a couple of things to add. So, let's uh, let's talk this next. Um, what did I say? Yeah, okay. What about enemies? Do you think there will be new ones? Do you think there will be all the old ones coming back? Half old, half new? What are your original ideas? What new bulb, men do you, bulb bulbs do you think we're going to find? What are your thoughts? What do you think? I think there'll be some new ones. That sounds kind of obvious. But like, are we going to see only new enemies? Like, hey, Pikmin. I think tons of new enemies and stuff from hey, Pikmin. Robo bulb orbs. <laughs> new enemies with specific type of Pikmin coming. Evil Pikmin. A good chunk of enemies. Enemies from all four already existing games. Plus some new ones. Old ones and some new. They've already had new ones. Um, Daz, would you prefer HD Pikmin 2 port or Pikmin 3 port? Pikmin 2 port. Um, another form of the Umabozo, definitely. There are lots of people here. There are, apparently. Makes the chat easy to read, I guess. Oh, sorry, I'm reading too much of the chat. But yes, the old ones, like the various Bulbuls, will make a return. A new Arachnorb. Okay. More robotic enemies. Old ones, none from Hey Pikmin. Ooh, that's a bold one, Zyzo. 
<laughs> I almost started reading out Nightbot then. Excuse me. You guys think there's gonna be 130 enemies? Oof. Some old bosses are big enemies, but not bosses. Oh, okay. More Obibozu replicas that just melt away and merge into each other to create nightmares. Robotic Bulborbs, the Cyborb. <laughs> you really think there's gonna be a robotic theme, don't you? A new long leg boss, or multiple new long leg bosses. The spiky puff fish, a round fish that can be inland but resides in the water. They spike out, they let the spikes out to kill Pikmin on them and can shoot a bubble while they're in the water, away on the surface drowning. Lots of old ones and a lot of new ones, hopefully. Bread bugs, possibly a new spring. Offspring, even. A new offspring. Horror Pikmin, maybe Puffmin. Coming back to life, Bulbears. Ugh. If you have a desert area, I can imagine a smaller version of the Mere Slug. Ooh. Okay. So. Hey, Pikmin enemies. Yay or nay? Are they all coming back, or is it so off brand that we'll never see any of them again? A whole different company designed them, so maybe they'll, they'll be on their own little planet and never to be seen again. What are your thoughts? Picklepedia for new enemies? A new Picklepedia, that'd be really nice. No Hey Pikmin enemies. You think yay for Hey Pikmin enemies? I'm hoping to see new Blowhogs since they don't have lots of love. Elemental Wallywogs would be perfect, would be the worst, best thing I can't tell. Sandy Bulborbs, Camo Bulborbs essentially. You think yay for some? Okay, so like a, it'll be a variety of the past and new stuff. No hay pigment enemies, maybe one or two. Fiery bread bug shaped like burnt toast. Ah, be <laughs> something. Think some will return, the crumb bugs will return, the bird enemy won't, etc. Okay, oh, I hate the crumb bugs, they're the worst. Swarming swarmers are a group of swordfish that have a proboscis to suck pigment up. Ooh. That's cool. Nay. So, uh, what is this? Topic 15. We want, uh, so, let's say old variety slash up, uh, like updated, I guess. Like, uh, new, new branches. Old variety and new branches of Pikmin, you know. We've got uh, bread bugs that are now crumb bugs and bird bugs. We've got cyborgs. Bloodhog shooting poison or electricity. Certain enemies that lurk in hazards. Look at look at Pikmin in Spore. I right, missed that. I did have Spore when it first came out. I didn't have a computer that could play it though, so oops. It's too slow. New Snagrets, okay. <clears throat> here's a, here's a, <clears throat> a question. I'm not going to write it down as the answer, but we can come up with it in the chat for a minute. Tell me a fully original Pikmin enemy idea. Not a branch of an enemy that already exists. I don't want to hear a different type of ball bulb. I've heard a bit. Or a new Wally, Wally hop. Tell me something completely new. A lizard boss in the desert that spawns lizards to attack Pikmin by shooting fireballs. Uh, in the files of Pikmin 3, Emperor Bulbax and working poison shooty thing exist in the files. Oh, okay. Anything else? Spoon boss. Not going to ask how that one works. Maybe electricity takes it down though. <laughs> I shouldn't be thinking about it too hard. Spike pods, humbugs, a real, a real Scrooge, a stick bug, a scale to humans. I'm highly doubtful on the real humans existing idea, but you know, a bird that can actually fly. Original ideas: a robotic operating buddy boss. Hmm, a Rob, huh? Spoon boss. Louis is the boss. Did an octopus style enemy exist in Pikmin 3 or Hey Pikmin? If not, they sh would have one of those. That would be cool. Vines that suffocate Pikmin. A bird that hoards treasure. An oct hog, an octopus like creature that requires the player to be completed puzzles to beat it. An enemy hiding in the shadows that can attack you from the shadows or steal Pikmin from the shadows. Umibazu. A snake enemy that will try and go round you so you can't escape and then just crush you. A slug. Wait, no, they have slugs. Uh. Monty Mope? I don't know what a Monty Mope is. Monty Mole, you mean? Oh, I hate Monty Moles. A giant tide pod that cleans your pigment out of existence. I don't get January memes, man. A squid that shoots ink out of a water gun. Robot enemies that can be harvested for a small amount of scrap. I'd like to see the beebs from Pigment Adventure. Oh, yeah, I remember those. 
maybe a snake type enemy in the desert that could pop out of sand, poison pigment. It could be part spiky bite. Okay. Maybe a mantis-like enemy. Or a manta ray. Living walls that act like mini bosses. Spoonlings. Sons of sp the spoon boss. Okay, sure. Sounds more like a chibi robo enemy. Shovel bug. Hold pigment away. Bird with arms and a tongue that stab pigment. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I thought I'd hear it. thought I'd uh, sort of provoke ideas in case, you know, we could look back at this later and be like, wow, you're all wildly wrong, but who knows. Right, uh, that's that. Let's change the subject. We've got more to talk about. Da, 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 da. There's a glitch. So, that's almost us done. Um, uh, Alright, let's, let's think of this. Um, map slash wild ideas. Someone mentioned it earlier. Bring it up now. I didn't actually write it on my list. Tell me your map ideas. Your, I guess your aerial ideas. What are you thinking? That as, as a prediction that you'd like to see or would think is going to appear. A volcano area. I approve. Open world. More mechanical enemies would be cool. Oh yeah, sure. That too. A tree. Yeah, okay, we have done an anthill, so it could kind of work. A desert map. Season-themed area, as per usual, yeah. Beach that you can get stopped by rocks. A volcano area or ashes. <coughs> a canopy area. More freeform open area. Pikmin 4, Skyrim. Not a big fan of Skyrim, I'll be honest. I'm much more of the Fallout series. But anyway, the map world, I think, would be more open. You can go to mostly wherever you want from the beginning. There will be one or two areas you must unlock, though. A swamp area with whites and purples. A canyon area you can travel down. Savannah. 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 Hmm. You got just sort of your, your, your generics. Your volcanoes, your deserts, your, your woodlands, a jungle, islands. That could be cool. Uh, a, a frozen lake shore. Essentially, you break the ice and enter a secondary watery area below the ice. That's cool. Every world is just a completely different planet, but each one is the size of a normal area. Poison enemies. Broken down gas station. Sure. I mean, we have had gone into an actual house at Christmas before. Go to the moon. Makes sense. Possibly larger areas with multiple landing sites that you unlock. A moon low gravity area. Toxic factory. You'd love to climb a tree in Pikmin 4 and the boss is at the top. I would like that too. We kind of do that already. A little bit. A big tree that you can climb. An abandoned shack. A desert. A wintry area. Maybe a valley with a stream going through it. <laughs> Two of those are already covered, if not three. I'm at a loss. Aperture Science. Factory. Okay. A lot of these I've actually mentioned in the past on my YouTube channel myself, so we'll go with it. Could be one giant area where you slowly unlock different areas across the game. Hockitate. A sofa. Factory area. Yeah, you can climb up metal rails, have mechanical enemies, and find metal pigment. Have acid obstacles. Uh, what about a giant sand castle? We have actually seen a factory before, and I would like to see more factory stuff. Cave only area, a sinkhole that in the sun, uh, that sun of the area. Careful of dangers and lurks. Uh, I can't quite read that, excuse me. Volcano, only red can enter due to extreme heats. A giant tree area. Okay. I'm getting the idea. Uh, a, excuse me, a tool shed. How about a bedroom where you have to stay out of the human sight? Sounds like a uh, warrior wear. Dig site, like in the Pikmin shorts. Oh, yeah. So we've got a... Uh, what are we... Uh, a library. That's the case that has different gimmicks depending on where you enter. Or when you enter. Atlantisite area with air bubbles scarcely around. Find old human houses you can travel in. A cornfield. There's not much you can do with just one type of Pikmin. Yeah. So these were all saying tree and house, abandoned factory. So, area ideas is sort of your generic, your elementals. Let's say elementals. Elementals, buildings. And. Nature is a bit too obvious. Elementals works for the most part if you think wood as well as an element and a giant tree. Destroy buildings. Pikmin is in the post apocalyptic worlds. Humans wouldn't really work. An area where you can only bring one type of Pikmin at a time. Again, you can't do too much if you only got one Pikmin following you around, you know? It's kind of like an easy path. Anyway, that one slimy man 
Thank you for the follow, buddy. Uh, I gotta say, there's more than one of you. Don't worry, there's a whole world full of you. You're never alone. It's horrible if you think a slimy man is a bad thing. Anyway. A helicopter, sure. Okay. We need more epic final areas. Okay, alright. I definitely like the volcano idea with that front. It's an above ground area right above um, another. Okay. Moving on to the next uh, subject. I should probably change the subject bit then. But alright. Nice and quick question. We are pretty much at the end of this. I'm sort of basically scraping my list at this point for something. So, uh, that's all those covered. We got that too. So, I've got three other questions for you. Um, I can combine these, this, these number two and three. So, the one thing I put is what to add. So I guess what can Pikmin 4 add to the franchise? And in the same vein of that, maybe, have you got any oddball ideas? Just anything sort of off topic that could be added to the game. What can can Pikmin 4 add? And uh, any oddball ideas? A cavern with crystals and railways. I can be on the cart going in a different direction. The plague or plaque. I should probably add a question mark to the end of that. It's a bit of a poorly uh, structured question. Do excuse me. But it's also because we're running out of questions face down in this this answers section over here. A boat jumping in the jetpack from Hey Pikmin. Oh yeah, the jetpack. But then that might if it's a dream, then you can kind of get away with it. I like being able to jump. Hmm. Okay. A, a captain that can jump. Interesting. A map inspired by Luigi's Mansion. Having a recurring boss that you think is the real final boss, but after you finally defeat him, you find out Louis is controlling him. Online challenge mode. Maybe instead of multiple areas, one super large area with multiple landing sites. A gun to shoot Pikmin out of. This isn't about Pikmin 4, but I'd like a Pikmin RPG. Okay. Interesting. Night survival. Again, this is always mentioned, and I gotta agree, I do like the concept. <coughs> uh, let's start with this text again. Fine area, it could be a crystalline cave, like Lava Reef Act 2. The Nintendo headquarters in the area. How about Pikmin that throw other Pikmin? A uh, not the spoon again. More swarm like behavior of Pikmin, like a massive ride of millions of Pikmin that you control all at once. Little Big Planet, but with Pikmin. I just randomly got this idea a desert area where, where way off in the distance you can see something foreshadowy, like the area boss or the plasm wraith or humans. Okay. Pikmin tactics, red Pikmin emblem, of course. Oh, my nose is a bit clogged. Hope I don't sound too weird today. I might do. Excuse me if I do. Well, I definitely feel like I do now. One of the whites and purples came back, but they were tied to one area and stayed at the landing site. No more 100 Pikmin limit. Okay. Oops. Uh, Pikmin turns into a real-time game where your construction company that debated on where to build a resort decided to build a PNF-04 that started dangerous prevented from them doing so the ship destroyed and their forces survive and gather scraps to escape and Pikmin. An old Nintendo warehouse, Mario is the final boss. Maybe a crafting system. Rather than finding pieces to make your ship stronger, you need to find certain objects to fix your ship. Uh, okay. So, uh, what we think... There was, so we had Knight. That was one of the ones I really liked. There was something we said at the very beginning that I really liked, but I don't remember it now. Crafting, I guess, was something. Like, uh, uh should we say customizing? Uh, let's say crafting. Knight craft. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to continue with this music. Um, anything else? I can't remember, there was something at the beginning I really wanted to write down. Everyone's too distracted with the music, okay. But hey, it works with the night theme we're going with, the jetpack. Oh yeah, but I didn't really want to keep it because it was a dream thing. Pikmin's ending into Don't Starve. Oh. Wait, I don't think I can explain that very well. Rather than finding ship pieces, you would find natural resources to make temporary parts. Okay. Um, 
more complete with before, add any oddball ideas. Um, replace all characters in the hotel room, oh sure. Why don't we go with cosmetics as well, there's something people kept mentioning. Whether it actually happens, it's just an idea. Natural disasters, that was the other thing. Floods, blues only, wildfires, red only, thunderstorms, yellow only, acid, yeah. Except it kind of limits how you can, what you can do a little bit. But maybe it, like the elements happen anyway. Oh well, it could kind of be covered with the weather thing. <sighs> maybe a world where there's no open plain like in every world where the onions can land together. So instead the onions land spread out across the map. Might be more difficult or something. Yeah. We'll go with that for now. And hey look, now it's time for the night. one of the nicer bosses of Pikmin 2. You're welcome. Right. I'm going to say that's the end of that subject. And with that, we have all of the questions for Pikmin 4 predictions that I had written. There's only one other question I've got actually left on my piece of paper. And then I'll go for a little, I guess, summary. We'll see. Before I do, though, I have my final question 18 for you. That being... Um, well, how do I phrase this? can't even spell anything. Maybe not exactly in this format. Maybe so. I would like to do more Dad's Reviews streams. Don't worry, it's not the bare end, but I thought I'd add it on to the end of the question. Would you like me to cover other games like analysis stuff or something that might appear more commonly? We can do a, a Dad's Reviews format of the predictions and the streaming and the whole editing process maybe as well with other things to make it a prevalent Daz Reviews streaming system each week. On top of that though, what games would you like to see? This is the thing, you know, Daz Reviews has been a little quiet because there's not content to make. So people seem to like this format from what I'm gathering from all the yeses in, the, in this format sentence on its own. But what, what would you like to see me do? Because in Daz Reviews I haven't got a lot of content because Pikmin has been disappeared for like three weeks, three months, three years. When I did Hey Pikmin as well, it kind of flopped, and so so did anything I made on that too. A little bit. It wasn't too bad. What would you like to see me do? Would you like me to do uh, reviews live? Zelda? Well, we can see. Oh my gosh, hello! The Outbox64, thank you for the follow. It made me jump. Excuse me. E3 the day before, predictions the day before. I would definitely like to cover E3. Luigi's Mansion, Zelda, Chibi Robo. There is a new Chibi Robo thing to talk about with that thing of them on fire, isn't it? That could be something we could cover. That is definitely an idea. Um, I imagine these streams will mostly be on Saturdays, just because it's my biggest time available. Multiplayer games, maybe. Um, I have been playing. I've been streaming on this a long, a long, a while, a few month, a month, a bit of a month. But um, we might change away from the format of playing games and just go to podcasty stuff. We'll see. Yeah, there was a, a teaser of a Chibi Robo on fire that happened just before Nintendo Direct, the the Labo one, and then. Yeah, we could do a Chibi Robo 2018 discussion. Sold. All right. And then we'll do that next week. But for now, let's do a mini summary of what we've gathered. So, we think there will be a Pikmin 4 trailer in the latter part of 2018. There will be the game in mid-2019. We will hear something in E3 2018. The We're going to be collecting scrap or doing some kind of building thing if we had to make a guess. The Uma Buzzer will be appearing, potentially as a boss and maybe even the final boss. The plot is going to be focused on the loose ends of Louis, but the model endings will come between either the survival of Louis or the characters we're playing as, or just failing to actually capture Louis or collect enough things. Character-wise, we're going to be playing as Olimar, and any new characters they add on, the Copiates, Louis and the President, aren't going to be relevant. Uh, new mechanics could be the inclusion of weather upgrades and potentially magnets. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes? What was that about? Mechanics, new obstacle ca caves. Are caves going to be returning? Yes, but the format might be changing. Any new Pikmin ideas? We've got spikes, we've got shells, we've got sand, we've got shadow. Explosive proof, spiky, sticking, and mobility problems. Or just being evil and under Louis' control. Um, uh, anything going on with being on the Switch? Not really, nothing major. It'll mostly be the same. The controls can work the same. Amiibo will unlock new challenges in challenge mode. Uh, it will be closest to Pikmin 3 out of Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2, Pikmin 3, and Hey Pikmin. The enemies are going to be more of the older variety, potentially getting new branches of the Pikmin, uh, the enemies we've seen in the past. 
Uh, thinking of new maps, there may be some more elemental specific things like volcano and lava or floods and jungles and trees and otherwise there may be buildings like houses and factories and more elements of humans existing in the past. And as a final up thing of, that could be added to the Pikmin franchise of all from Pikmin 4 would be the aspect of a nighttime mission thing, maybe a crafting system within the Pikmin or the upgrading system of the actual captains and their suits and potentially cosmetics if we really want to go on a stretch of something we'd like to see. That is our predictions and things we would at least like to see in Pikmin 4. And that only took us two and a half hours. I hope you enjoyed the rambling chat. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this into a focused story uh, video that I'll be making soon. Um, it might be a bit tricky to get way soon because I'm going to be very busy this week. But I might probably just edit it on my own time. Next time, maybe when we do a thing, well, I'll edit it on stream. And that could be fun, quite fun. But otherwise, join me next Saturday and we'll do the same old thing for Chibi Robo. Let's just talk about what we'd like to see, shall we? I think that was, that was good. People say it was pretty fun. I'm glad, considering it was just a still image and me talking. I never even got to bring out, like, my whole, hey, let's go watch some, uh, some YouTube videos. Look at all these trailers I had set up. But nope, none of them were relevant. So, oh well. Oh, hello. Thank you, Lone Tech Wolf again for 95 bits. I will have a great day. Thank you very much. But yes, this video will air on Daz Reviews. It will be the whole live stream, and then we'll probably make a condensed little predictions video to add on to the end of it for those that don't want to watch two and a half hours of a podcast, basically. So yes, that is us done. You can put it as a full stream highlight so people can see the chat better. That's a good thing. That, uh, well, that, uh, could I just upload that as YouTube? I don't think so. But yes... That is us done. I'm glad that uh, people showed up, and I'm hoping you enjoyed. Again, judging by the the response, I have a feeling you did quite a bit. We'll be doing this again next week, and we'll just be doing what we can. Daz Reviews is hopefully going to be making a bit of a revival in 2018. At least this format suggests that it might very well work. Anyway, on that note, I am going to end it off here. Let's have uh, well, I mean, it is the final boss music, but let's skip to something else, can we? Anything? No, no, there we go. My name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.